Yes. You decide. You the people. Sir, do we get to win this time? This time it's down to you, Johnny. Lee, Cre Lee Krem, when Fall thinks of subs, can I get a catch on yourself just before falling asleep, Blam, at the time of your choice during today's stream? Thank you very much. Yes. Yes. Um, I said I was going to stream Dark Souls Remastered. I've decided against it. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe people have had enough of Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3, Dark Souls 3 DLC, fucking Sekiro. Maybe people have had a wee bit of... And if a supermarket gone, I'll explain. Obviously, you just don't follow me on social media, so you you don't see that I said that I, I binned it. I will be binning it, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you why. I'll wait a wee bit. There'll be some people coming in even right up to quarter to ten, and then I'll show you why. I will show you why. Skindle, Arfars, Nysani's Rob, and Kugel Bear thinks of subs. What happened to supermarket sim? I will show you, Dark Soul. Souls. I will show you. Right? Now, if I do play Dark Souls, I've already played Dark Souls. Talk about the first one and completed it. I'll tell you something I have never done in the Dark Souls universe. In the Soulsborne universe. It's fine for a, for a man of your age. Yeah, it's fine. Magic build. Yep. I've never done mage build. You know the cunt with the bowl cut? Just up for the firelink shrine or whatever the fuck it's called in Dark Souls? That cunt. I take one look at him and he's like, I have no time for you. And I'm just like, who's this cunt? Who's that? What's it, what does he do? Uh, he's like magic, and faith and all that. Oh, fuck that. And I, and I move on. What if he became really important to me? A new life. Mage building which game? Fucking Dark Souls. Talking about Dark Souls. Here's a cool quest. I'm not too interested in cool quests. Now I heard that magic isn't very good. Faith sucks in Dark Souls 1, do int. Well, whatever it is, whatever the... You don't want Faith, you want a good working man's pyro build. I used to do pyro stuff. Maybe that's Dark Souls 3, I'm thinking. Oh. Um, and I just didn't... I, I didn't go the full distance with it. I just sort of went, ah, oh, fuck this in respect. But... Um, I'm in the mood for something like that. I don't want to just... Um, hold on, let me test. That one for the blooper reel. I don't want to just... Um, go, same again, get the clay more. You know, that kind of thing. Better be playing online. Fuck that. So, cunts watching this can go, right, I'm going to... Jump in. There'll be people, there'll be sad sacks watching Twitch all the time. Categories... Dark Souls, and it'll be like, right, that person's there, right, and then they'll go there, and then they'll wait to either invade. In fact, they've not got the fucking intelligence to be summoned for a boss fight and no help. That's what I do, that's my thing. Nudlum and Sailor, thanks to subs. RIP Supermarket Sim, I just want to run to you. You will see why. Eve, thank you very much. Thanks to sub. Get back, Diggs. General Consensus, thanks to subs. I'm glad you appreciate me. I appreciate you. Kugel and Cube King, thanks to subs. Um, first of all, there's something very, very important I've got to do, and it's this. Hacker and Dracula thinks of subs. Did you bin supermarkets in because you saw my supermarket was extremely superior? No, I didn't. I'm going to show you why I am binning 
Hey, I beg your pardon. The eighties were the worst. <laughs> you just embarrassed yourself with saying that, and anybody else who agrees has embarrassed themselves by saying that. Right, first of all, continue, and then pause that. <laughs> Dom and Philip, Ali, Mark, thanks for subs. Recommend us a quality film, please. This isn't really a quality film, but I would like to hear what you think about it. Ali, uh, don't come up to me in the street. Uh, you know, don't just suddenly appear at my door and go, oh, fancy bumping into you here, let me... Anyway, so it's about the film, the film club that we've got. Dom, thanks for sub. Shout out to your, your, your man, Bob. Ag. Halloween 3, the 80s film Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. You see what you think yet? Name Michael Myers. It's not a Michael Myers film. They made Halloween, then Halloween 2. The idea was to then make different types of films to do just Halloween. They did Halloween 3, and they couldn't like it. They went back to Michael Myers. See what you think. Say what you think. Think. Mark Kent and Goody John, Super Hyper, Maple Mason. Blum up, Blum up, thanks for subs. They'll be straight out of uh, Dreamy's Fund. You'll be happy to hear that Bobby is lying in the living room, kind of stretched out with a bit of the sun. Oh no, summer's coming, everybody. That's it official now. Murray Wick, thanks for the bits. Fallout 4 DLC, not asked for it. Yeah, I just kind of finished right now. That's that done now. Biscuit Cakes, thanks for no request, thanks for the sub, Speedwagon. Uh, have you ever been to Gaga in Gla uh, Gaga, Glasgow? What, Dumbarton Road? I think so. I think it was there not that long ago. I don't, I don't go at it that much. Um, I might have, might have ever, only ever been to it twice. Just a kind of pub restaurant. Twice. What's me, everybody? Uh Uh, gift to a specific viewer. Let's pop to Discord. Still be second, everybody. I need to do this in front of everybody to show that I'm uh, nice. Right, Tambo and Jongo. No. There is Tambo. In the chat. Present. Tambo, 1989. I gift to you. What is happening? I'll tell you. A six month subscription to this channel so that you may moderate this channel without having to pay for it. And the other person, the other mod, <laughs> isn't he here? <laughs> um, maybe having a bit of, bit of lion, maybe. Well, maybe I'll have a bit of lion with the six months up. When Jongo appears, let me know. I'll take one of those. Any any of my mods, when your sub runs out, let me know in the mod room and you'll get the your next six months. Um No, the the actual real reason is I can't remember what, what Jongo's name is. Like is it Jongo123? Is it Jongo underscore something else? I can't remember. So I d I don't want to do it. 
Um, I can't remember it. I'm not very good with names. As I said before, I'm a people person. I don't really care about names. They're superficial and they're stupid. They merely identify people. I don't need to. I, I, if I know who the person is, I don't care about the names. It's like saying, what else do you know about them? Or their, their, uh, their, their hand span is, is this long and uh, or um, that finger is shorter than that. It's like it's stupid wee details I don't care about. Name 10 mods. I don't think I've got 10 mods. Have I? Small fry. And Blue Fox, Cheapest Chimps, River, Colin thinks the subs. I don't care, listen, I don't care about listing people. I'm an actions person. I care about who, what the person does and who they are inside. I'm not just going like that. You are this one person and I know you. I go through experiences. I don't go like that. The experiences that this person, I've had with this person, is contained within this uh, organic skin thing. I see things a wee bit bigger than that. I don't go like that. Person. 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 That's a really limited way of looking at things. So, no, I can't name you ten, 10 mods. Because I don't want to. Lydia and Snoop actually thinks the subs. Last Prime sub before they remove it off Twitch, sad to see the supermarket go. And I'll show you why. The uh, Prime subs only gone anywhere, everybody. I've had a word with Twitch. Uh, name a woman, uh, Diana Ross. Evil Shrew, Joe, thinks the subs. Modern Big Man had a song from your quizzes stuck in my head all week. 80s, hair metal, song of the chorus is gang vocal shouting, whoa, oh, yeah. Sounds a bit like bad medicine. Um, anybody help uh, uh, Joe out? I can't remember what that is. Captain Radical, 1750, Evil Shrew thinks the subs. I'm just playing games by myself. I like keeping myself myself these days. Here in my mind. Uh, Mr. Rachel thinks the sub. Uh, I don't think I've missed anybody, but let me know if I have. I don't think I have. Twisted Sister. I don't twisty Sister. We're not going to take it. Was one of the quiz questions. I thought it was, but it wasn't. Uh, get our server back and go. Right, watch everybody. Watch and I'll show you why I'm binning this. Right, so I played it off stream, as I said I would. I've expanded things, I've got more products, but I'm going to show you why I've hit my limit weight. Right? Um, I'm going to show you why. Right, so as you can see up in the top right, I've got 5,347. I'm at level 24 now, almost going up to 25. Right? I have got two guys... Right, it was a great watch. I'm going to show you why it's maybe not so much a great watch anymore. Right. I've got two of them. They they can't, they're not allowed it. This is where they live. They're boxed in. So they can't get out. And they are enough, by the way. You don't get big queues. So I've got other things like, look, so I've made this bigger. I've not even used a fraction of the fucking room. I could put fridges up there, and I'm no. Um, I've got a shelf there, but none there. Got bags of fucking room, right? Uh, this is ten times more enjoyable to watch than anything else you've played recently. Aye, but the main thing is, I've hit my fucking limit, right? And if I'm sitting here miserable with the energy drained out me, you're not going to like it. 
I'm not going to wait until I'm fed up with something and then. Right, so they're filling it up nice. That's good, right? Now you've got bog roll. Uh, there's cleaning stuff I, I unlocked at. Hand wash and all these bits and bobs. Right. Look at this, everybody. Do I like it? Nice. Very stocked up. There we go. Right. Uh, kind of sweetie stuff there. It's not very organised. It's just organised into things like, well, these are big boxes. You can only do two per bit. So just do two, uh, what would you call that, columns. Not that, that there. Um, salt and sugar. That. Got liquid stuff there. Got to organise into there. Milk and all that. Fizzy stuff. Juice. Uh, clean on toilet stuff here. Bog roll. Cleaning stuff. Mare cleaner. Shampoo is there. Um, right, now here's why it is hit its limit for me, pretty much. I'm at level 24, still level 24, which you can see in very, very fucking tiny, 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 tiny text up the top, right? What comes next? So let's say um, I buy some mere shampoo. Maybe do a wee bit of shuffling this about a wee bit. Put another row in the middle, maybe. Put another one there. Could probably fit another one there. I get one there and one there. Or just expand it. Let's say I did that. What comes next? Here's what comes next. Right, I could get a freezer for, like, later down the line. Quite further later down the line, you get ice cream. But other than that, look at this. Product license. Let's say I was to buy that. 1,100, which can, I, I can afford. I'd unlock butter, mere cereal, chicken for the fridge, french fries, that would go wherever. Uh, fridge. And if any of these, they need a freezer, I would put them in the freezer. Um. Etc, etc. Booze. Etc, etc, etc. Right, books. You can sell books. Right. Right, here's here's how it works. See when I go to, I know you I know you know this, but I'm just gonna fucking reiterate uh, reiterate it so that um so you can go like that, ah, I see what you mean. When I go to buy stuff, I can only buy 10 things at a time. So let's say, even just with this stuff I've got here, which is already quite a lot, these are all the products I can currently get. Last thing you saw was up to the yogurt, I think. I've unlocked, I think, twice. Uh, no, wait a minute. Aye, aye, that's right. The bleach stuff, cleaner stuff, and mere cheese, and there's tuna, and another type of sugar. I really do feel like that guy in the Orient Express. Are you just trying to say yogurt, aye? Despicable meme. Jambo, Kate. Thanks for subs. If you had to be a plant or flower, what would you like to be? Um, tumbleweed. Full walk through the storage layout system before the bin. All right, thank you very much for the sub. So let's say I've got that, right? This is what happens. Him? I was asked to do that blam earlier and I fucked it up. I think that was at Merriam Blam. Anyway... So I go like that, right, right, I've got these things, right, here's, here's the storage th stuff. This is mostly sweeties, everybody. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. That, that goes there. 
Oh look, that's me fucking back in it. The, um, get that to fuck. That's the other the other type of cereal. Anyway, cereal there, cakes there, sweeties, chocolate, yogurt, honey, kind of sweet sort of junk sort of stuff. Bread, pasta, flour, you know, that kind of basic sort of stuff. Uh, rice, fish, cheese, parmesan, eggs, eggs, cheese, salt and sugar, peanut butter, they, they ordered much to this, oil, sugar again, so, right. Drinks like tea, coffee, milk, or a fizzy shite, juice, water in the bottom, toilet stuff and cleaning stuff, toilet stuff and cleaning, that's it, that's my, that's my loose kind of system. Anyway. The reason why I've got to organise is so that I can find it quickly when, and this is why I'm saying it, this is why I'm, I'm talking you through this, it's so that when I order stuff, I, I can quickly know where to put it. And what happens when I order stuff? I go like that, right, there's a lot of things to get. Uh, what have I get? Look for empty. Empty, I go, look, look, empty, empty. Right, I'll get that. And not there, right. And then I'll do maybe, or I might just go like that, look, one, 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 one. Ten items I can order, maximum, and then the process is this. In fact, I'm going to show you right now. Let's say I was to start the day right now. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to show you right fucking now. Right, watch. Watching. This is what, it's a typical day now. Right? Open. Right, the day started. Right, can't put that there. Right. Watch. Watch this typical day, everybody. Um, right, I'll get pasta. Two of that. Flour. I don't even... I, you know, I've got... This, the shelves are stacked. I really don't need to do this. That much at all. Right. I'm just going to show you my typical day. Right, so 10 maximum. Can I get any mail? Right. I do this. I buy it. There it is, right. Right, they got in with that. I don't need to, I don't need to do tills at all now. Right. And I simply pick these up. Go here. And do that. Right, um, this is it. Right, stack them, they two guys just constantly fill it up. Ten at a time, I can't pick up, like, say I got three of this kind of flower, I can't pick up three of these boxes. I can't, I also can't employ anybody to pick these up for me. Right? All right. Um, shampoo... Dishwasher, tablets, I'm going to stick that up there actually. Right, I know what, I, I realise that I'm actually now playing the fucking game, right? I want to just show you the, 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 the typical fucking day here. That's all I want to show you. Right. That's it, coming up for one o'clock in the game. Right, so this is this is me this is me playing it. Right, that's me bought ten items. I go back out here. Pick that up. Try and remember where the fuck I put it. Uh there. Just dump that there just now. Now I know I could get my racks and put that somewhere better, but um, I'm not going to go much further with this. I'm not going to go further at all. Look, back and forward. 
Like this, I mean, I could do this, look. I did this before. I did this last night. I tried doing this sort of thing. Right? And then, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a bit fucking closer to here, so I can just... You know, do this sort of thing. Is that honey? To go there. Whoops. I don't know if that actually helped me to do it quicker, but... Right? Right? Have a look at the shoppers. There they are. Look, everything's getting sorted out. Everything's fine. What do I do next? Here's what I do next. I go like that. Right? We could do with some of that. That flower, that cereal up there. And some of that shite there, right? We get one more of them. Get some more toilet paper. I'm just going to do one day here because I want I want to show you. Okay, so order. I don't care if it's two quid delivery. Just. Right, so this is this is what I'd be doing if I continue to play it, right? And you could say, but is this not what you're doing before? No, because I, like, I didn't have storage before. And then I got storage and the game changed a bit. For the better. Right, uh, then employ the guys to, to stock it up for me. And then the game changed again. And you got the cashiers. Remember, this is early access. They've got things they're going to be bringing in. Um, what did I put the sugar? That's right, it's uh, full. Right, it's, it's uh, half six. The day ends at nine. And then I go get a couple of that, get maybe a water as well, get maybe that kind of milk as well, fuck it, buy all that, pick this up. Do you get the idea? Can I just, uh, you shouldn't be there. Gonna stick that under there. You should not be there. Bastard. Just gotta dump that there just now. Right. Right, I picked that up. I'm not trying to talk the game down, by the way, you know, I'm not trying to go like see a shite. Just dump that there. I mean I mean I may as well just plonk it there just now actually. Just for somewhere to put it. You know, I could uh, organise it a bit better. Alright. So that's it. And I just continually do that. Or oh, I could do with buying more lights. Oh, it's nine o'clock, right? need any mail, does it? No. Right. Alright, I could so as I said I could put another rack in there. I could maybe even fit, fit in another one right, right next to that. Um and then put a middle one and then Faye here. I could just sort of go oh, let's see what I need what's that? That's there's name there, right? Gonna you know, do that. The money's rolling in. I'm at level twenty five. I thought, I thought it was almost at level 25 before. Was it level 24? So anyway, so what can I unlock now? John and Blue both thanks for subs. Thank you very much. 
I, I, I'm going to look at Dragon's Dogma 2, the fucking trailer, because I can't remember what it, what it looks like. I don't know if it's a Baldur's Gate 3 game or, or what. I've got any, any idea. But I can't remember. Jeff and Naked Flame, 60 subs. Do you have a favourite Hollow Notes song? If so, what is it? I'm going to say Private Eyes. Commander 60 bits. That's me retiring. I, supermarket manager, I'm just going to leave them to it. And occasionally I'll just be on call. If it goes wrong. Ian and Board Stiff, Neuras, thanks for subs. Thank you very much. I'll make new sub badges, by the way. I need to make the new 66 month. Hypocris and Despicable Meme, Jumbo, thanks for subs. Thanks again. Right, so that's, that's still beeping away, just getting uh, finished with these last two customers. They're getting on with that. So basically, my job currently, if I don't expand that is, is uh, make sure this is stocked up. And at the end of each day, it tells me something has went up in price or down in price. So I go out, I find that thing, and I put it up and down. Right? Expanding. I'm going to explain it all bit by bit for people who will go like that. Oh, well, you've ruined this for yourself by playing the game, by getting the things you're meant to get. You've ruined the game for yourself. Or when I just said, I mean, and if I was to, if, even if I was not, if I was to not expand, people will hear that and go, uh, all right, well, well, expand then. As if that will solve it all. I'm going to talk you through it. And then I'm going to move on to another game. I'm going to talk you through it. So that's the customer's finish, right? So do this. Uh, well, I'd do it anyway. Right, everybody's happy except one person found one product. Too expensive. Very, very well. Lots of money. Right. Honey, cereal... Toilet paper and apple juice, right? I don't know where it, uh, anything is. Uh, can I fucking see that then? 1572, call it 1575. So I know it looks like I'm actually playing it now. I'm no, I'm not actually playing this. It looks like I'm, but I'm no. Right, so change the price. And then, come back here. And I go, right, how's it looking? Bit of a mess, plunk that there. Still need room for that. Right, I might, I might make that two rows because these are big boxes and I kind of run out of space. Um, that's still looking fine. Um, maybe make an, put another rack somewhere, and that still doesn't go up there. I'll just you know that. Right. Other than that, this is what I would do next. If I was to actually play this, this is what I would I would do next. I would go go like that. Right. I'm at store level twenty five. I've got about six grand. What can I do with my money? Um, get me a products. Right. I could unlock. New products. Right? Tons more products. For the storage of all these different types of things, I could go to storage and expand the storage and then expand it again. Um, making this place bigger. Right? This place would be bigger. So this was previously locked off. Then it shows the door so they can go between it and I can go between it. This would go back by two, probably, right? That would go back. I put the shelves out. Same sort of game, but it's just th this is bigger. And I I'm, I'm going to ask you to really think about what you're about to say. Some of you's hasn't hasn't this been what it's? Aren't you talking about this? I mean, this is what it's always been. You start with a wee shop, and it gets bigger. No, really. 
you unlock products. Remember, it is early access. But currently, I unlock products. And then I've got to make sure I have those products because you can't just go, I'm not going to get any because you'll get customers going like that. Or oh, where is the ice cream that, that you've got available? Because I've not got around to actually fucking buying any, that kind of thing. So put shelves about, stick the products on, um, expand this. Cosmetically, it's no, there's not much you can do yet. It's not like, well, you could turn it into a kind of the way people like playing about the cosmetics of things and uh, I'm going to make it all, you know, like The Sims or something like that, right? Uh, this gets bigger. Mere products here. Basically, what I'm doing here, but with mere things. But one thing remains the same. This is This is how I play the game. Buy the stuff. Go here. Pick it up. Put it there. There. Yeah. Yeah. Put it there. Uh huh. Pick it up. Put it there. Oh, right. Oh, right. That's right. One, two of them. 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 Buy. Right. Pick it up. That there. Pick it up. That there. Right, I'm going to get new products. New products, right? Let's say I think I'll put that there, that there, that there, that there, that there, that there, there. Until, if you think about it, I like Danny Tills is alright, right? right? I, I like Danny Tills, right? But, And I'm sure because it's early access, they'll be looking at this and going like that, right? That it kind of reaches its fucking limit. Um, um, I, other than that, I'm just changing the prices. Deciding where I'm going to put stuff. Tea there, that there. If there's another type of coffee, there. If there's another type of thingy, put it there. That's it. More fridges, a freezer for thingy, an earth shelf for thingy. Other than that, it's the same... 10 items, then that. What was different was this was new. Getting a new, getting a guy to actually fucking do it. Getting them to come through and do that. Having this storage place was something new. For this point on, there's nothing else. Growth. Simply expand. That's all that is. Just make it bigger. The staff just mail of the same, another cashier, another restocker. The storage, just make it bigger. And the products, mere products, they get to the point where some require a freezer like ice cream. Other than that, that's it. That's it. And if you imagine I get to this point right at the end, level 90, currently level 25, I get to this point where it's actually cost me 65 fucking grand to unlock this stuff at the end. Um, I would have a fucking gigantic, imagine this like, I don't know, three times the fucking size of this, and I've got the shelves laid out nicely, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, that side, another one there, another one there, another one there, and this goes back up, imagine double the fucking size, still, it's ten fucking items at a time, I'm assuming more people will come in with a bigger supermarket, requiring more cashiers, Um. And all the rest of it. Once I have maxed that out, which should take a fucking while, it's simply a case of looking at five times as many fucking racks. Looking for the empty ones and going, what's that then? Right, that, uh, yep, yep, yep. 
and gone out and picked them up ten at a fucking time. Ten at a fucking time. In fact, no ten at a time, one at a fucking time. By the way, so I'm not having a big moan about the fucking game. It's early access. It's only just came out. They're going to be adding shoplifters, security, the requirement to clean the place, and stuff like that. So, um, so that's it. Now, what I would say, what I would say to them, and they already know, is, um, you know what, Wilmot's, Wilmot's Warehouse, now that was all about figuring out what, what, how to use your fucking space. iPad t on um, see if uh, see if they did something a wee bit like that. You could say it's already a bit like that, where you start off with one or two wee items, you've got to collect them, and you're trying to remember right where the fuck did I put them? You're like after right after, after get two of them and three of them, you could pick them up at the same time, and you're like right, did, did I put? Or the blue stuff at one bit, and order maybe all the red stuff at another one, just to remember how the fuck to, to pick them up. Because you end up with this gigantic warehouse with tons of these things, and you're like, where the fuck have I put the things that, like the horseshoe looking things, and that thing that looks like a four leaf clover, but isn't it? And that thing that looks like a mountain, or maybe a pen, or pencil. You're trying to organise it like that. You get to. Um, there's an ending. I'm sure there's maybe another uh, uh, infinite fucking mode, maybe. But it's an ending, and it'd be good if they maybe went like that. Um, right, you can just keep it going if you just want to, your mind to just be um, taken up with doing this monotonous sort of thing. You just want to kill some time, you're just enjoying it. Um, but they could go like that. Can you... Like, see that unlocking at the end. See, if, see this. See if they had this just one thing that would make a difference to me. Taking the game as it is right now. See if they just put this one thing in, it'd make all the difference. And that is, see at the end there when you unlock that thing at the end. That's that's the end. It's been developed by one guy, really. Imagine that. That's enough to make me go like that. Can I get to that point? Because you can imagine um, walking towards that and then you go, right, I've unlocked everything. Everything's maxed out in terms of the area. Size. Um, customers still keep coming in. Keep selling. It'd be good if it just went like, see, when you get to that point, that's it, and you sell the place. What was the other one? Is it What's the video shop one that was not arcade? What was it, arcade? Um, Paradise, was it? Arcade Paradise. Aye, that had, a, that had an ending. I'm not saying if a game hasn't got an ending, then it's shite, but it's good to know that you get to a point where you can go, right, right, I've got something to aim towards. There's a, like a wee story or... Something like that. But uh other than that the way it's sort of never ending uh, they're going forever, never never. Mr. L King, Georgia, NPC Hammer thinks it's subs and bits. Good game, just limited progression. It's very early days. Gently Wild Dude, Ryan, Chester thinks it's subs. Starting to feel like a real job. I remember having a real job. Terror, Affine, Aaron thinks it's subs and three quid. Play Expeditions, no, it's got kind of mixed reviews. Sofa Clean, thanks for the bits. 
Isn't there a new FMV in Horizon? I I think there is. Um, hold on, hold on a wee second. So, so that's that bend, everybody. Now I have got waiting right here, installed and ready to go. Dark Souls remastered. I've got that waiting. But what I'm going to do is before I battle right into it. See, there's people who really like it. There's people who hate it. There's people who will be like, thank fuck yes. And other people got like that. Even people who like Dark Souls just like, right, it's enough's enough. Um, what was... I got I got some stuff suggested to me. Um, oh, ah, an FMV got suggested to me, but it's in German. So that's not going to happen. Have I got? I don't. I don't think there is anything else. I don't think there's anything else. Learn German. Eins, zwei, drei. I forgot anything else. So currently, what I've got installed, I, I think I could install anything pretty quickly. But I've got. Uh, where the fuck is Dark Souls? Then it is. Dark Souls Remastered. Uh, add to... Uh, right. Um, I feel a bit of Dark... I feel a bit of Dark Souls... Remastered? I, don't take me fucking caps! The long drive would be a laugh. Or that? No, no, no. Uh, I'm not going to beat up at the bush. I'm going to do it. Dark Souls. Dark Souls. First time mage build. I don't know if this is... First time major. Everybody, now I don't know how long this is going to last, but I have never, I have never um, done like a faith or intelligence build. I did a bit of pyromancy. I did a bit of pyromancy. Dabbled in a bit of pyromancy. Continue? No, no, no. New game. Faith is a pain if you aren't doing multiplayer. I'm not doing multiplayer. Um, right. I don't... I, I want to try something a bit different. See the magic stuff. Is it shite? It might. It might be shite. I don't want to start something and go. Ah, it's crap. Can't magic. Cast magic missile. No, it's strong. It's strong, is it? Magic is shite. Faith is okay. What is faith? Wait a minute. Does somebody not say faith is shite? This is reminding me that I don't want to be looking at the chat and go like, so what is it? So how is it? What is it?
It's no a shame. And I'll tell you why. Because, see, because I don't know about magic and faith or uh, intelligence or whatever the fuck it is. I would be really glued to the fucking chat. So what is it? What Right, so, right, so, it, see, ju see just that wee moment there asking you's, Right, what, so it's no, right, so it's no, it's no intelligence, is it? Right, is it faith? Right, right. And, and, what, and what's the difference? Do you know what I mean? Right, is that a good spell? Is that a good spell? Right, that's no, it's a miracle. Right, right, and why should it, right, and why should it, right, and how should it? Um, I think I would be like, right, and it, just ignore us, and no, I can't, that's, that's what I'm saying. See if it's like just um, dark. See dark souls. See just dark souls. We're a big fucking sword. I've done that before, and I'm up for doing it again. I kind of know my way about. I know roughly where things are. Dex build. Dex, Dex build Dark Souls. Quality build. Dex build could be sick. Right, remember. Sick means good. Remember you bumped into that guy you used to go to college with? You bumped into him and when was that? 2000 and maybe 2000 remember what you said you said something and he said oh that that's sick have you seen have you seen the new something it was a flash thing ah uh, it's sick remember that was the first time you heard that and it's about a skater cunt I was like oh right I remember I remember thinking oh sick sick Right. So it went for bad, meaning good. To sick. I'm getting it now. Dark Souls isn't it utterly appealing to me right now? It's slightly. Here we are. Right, where are we? What are we doing? I have, we've got we're Neil at Dallas, we're in Texas, I can't remember, right, there we go, right, there we go, Cobrox, thanks to the fiver, I miss my cunto like you wouldn't believe, Um, or my cunto the, the unknown, my cunto the forgotten, The golfer? Or Conto McCunto? I just don't want that stress right now. Why has nobody told me to hydrate? I just don't want a... I don't want a feeling of... Like I fucked that up and... I don't want it. I've been really, really happy for quite a, a number of months now. Consistently. And I don't want to fuck up. David thinks the sub. The sinking city. Um, uh, is that a pu oh, the, remember, here, listen, there was a puzzle game, it's not The Witness, it's not a parody of The Witness, it's another one today with taking pictures, frankly, Will Turner Art, Mr. L. King, the subs, no, no, DBD, 
Can I get a hand on face and point to an audience member? He did. He did. He does that. Viewfinder. Um. NPC Hammer thinks it a bit. Glad you've enjoyed the journey. Gin Tate and Wild Dude thinks the sub. Georgia L King thinks it, thinks the subs. Um. I will rewatch the supermarket voids forever. Viewfinder, it's um, a bit fiddly. Well. Let's go on with one. I've got a job to get on me. Careful. Hot yourself. Only takes one negative message to end a potential game. Sigma, you keep telling yourself that. If you like to feel negative, you can take it to Reddit and moan there. But how everything's ruined and the stream's ruined because one person made one negative comment. I didn't want to play Supermarket Simulator. I know that's not what you're talking about. Let me finish. Because it ran its course. I could tell it was a dead end. I then thought, right, maybe I'll play a bit of Dark Souls. I thought, maybe I've, maybe I've oversouls it recently. I might start playing it going, oh, I can't be fucked. Maybe I'll enjoy it. I probably will enjoy it. Fuck it, I'll do it. But maybe something a bit different. Maybe the magic stuff. Maybe the magic's boring. Do you know what? Let's do magic just to get a bit of a, a, a change. And then... Once I started to experience, oh fuck, that's right, I've got to look at the chart. You know the thing that sort of annoyed me a wee bit about Dark Souls 3? Having to look at the chart a lot and work out who's talking shit or who's deliberately talking shit, who's just simply mistaken. I don't, I didn't like that. I didn't like having to look at the chart and go like that. Right, so, right. Right. So don't get this spell. Right, don't... Right. So that's... Right, so that's, a, that's for faith, so don't... Right. All right. So... So what's the best strategy for you if I'm going to be... So, like, can I heal and then shoot? Or... And no weapon at all? But you can put that on a weapon. But no, if you've got that. Do you know what? I'd be, I'd be looking at the chart fucking constantly regarding the magic stuff. So, if I'm going to do it, I've got two solutions. Three solutions, actually. One is, just fucking play it and wing it with the magic stuff. Potentially make huge mistakes and go on down the wrong path. And kind of know enjoying it, wasting my time and all the rest of it. Which would be alright. Wasting time's alright. Um. Other option is, I would have to make a wee message, a wee kind of spotlight thing again, so that I can pick out people who I'm pretty sure know what they're talking about, and focus on re them rather than reading the chat and going, wait, 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 they've said, they've replied, I've not seen it, who was it, can you say it again? Who, who was it? Who was it? So I can just see it there on the screen, yes, get that with that, it combines with that. Don't bother with that for this. Use this instead, right? Or I just go like, you know what? Fuck it. Claymore or whatever it is. Or like deck build, you know, something like that. I've got a wee feeling that the magic would actually be a wee bit boring. That'd be stunning. They're going like that. It's one of the reasons why I didn't do that with Elden Ring. Some people... Some people mentioned that. The Elden Ring's got good ma good magic and everything, but you're kind of just like going...
Elden Ring is miles better than Dark Souls, but we're not talking about that though. Elden Ring was uh, punishing. Well, I'm not going to get a penny for this delivery because I've absolutely fucked it, but who cares? T to D couple because I need a sleep. That's right, you can actually sleep there. There's the other bit. Whoops. Did that ever tell you the interesting story about how there was a guy in Millport whose nickname was Boxcar? Mm. No, please do tell. Okay. Um, prepare yourselves though, it's, it's not really what you would call a story, it's mere just a, th a thought, prepare yourself, oh, and I've got, I did it to about a guy called, uh, and I don't think I'll get sued for this considering his deed, a guy called Doogie Blue and Milp. Uh, you know, I don't think I could get done for slander. Doogie's no deed. I think I think Doogie is deed. My fucking Actually that cunt turned up at my fucking door. Jesus Christ man. I tell you about this guy. We nighttime drive. How 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 much would you love to just sit in a lorry or the back of a lorry or you know like at that back bit? Oh look at that! Getting driven about at night to nowhere in particular with the rain. Providing whoever's driving it um, isn't farting away and doesn't speak to you. Aaron thinks the three quid play Demon Souls shorter than Dark Souls and good fun. No, thank you. I've seen Demon Souls, uh, including the remake one. Whatever you call it. It's not my cup of tea, and I don't know why. Maybe I would like it. Is Demon Souls the the remastered thing? Whatever you call it. Uh, uh, a PS5 exclusive. Aye, bastard. XP home, any other things to subs and bits? I'll be heading to Stirling, Virginia soon and heading from there to downtown, downtown Atlanta. Can you preview that drive for me? Um, I don't, this, Virginia isn't in this. Atlanta? Is that Atlanta, Georgia? Is that the state of Georgia? Aye. Because Georgia doesn't sound like a state to me. Know that I know much about other American states, but... I've heard Atlanta, Georgia. If I saw a map of America and there's all the states and there's one called Georgia, I, I would be like that. Georgia? I thought that was a, a city or something. And then I'd remember Atlanta, Georgia, go, oh, aye, aye. North Dakota. South Dakota. Why have they no united?
They should get together. Here, do you think there's a rivalry? No politics, please. They divided. North Carolina, South Carolina. I wonder if it's a rivalry. Is that that same place? I crashed into it. Quiff, thanks for the sub. Uh, so what was I going to say? Um, I remember in Millport. What, what age was that? Maybe... Fourteen or something. Maybe a wee bit younger. Maybe thirteen or something. Before I bumped it, before I met everybody and... Drinking and all the rest of it. This is, this is a, this is a total fucking non-story. I remember we had we had this uh, house that we rented, and then a caravan that was in the garden of this house in Millport, and and then we ended up buying it. The wee house thing, it was like downstairs of this bigger house building thing had no toilet, had an outside toilet. You had to go out in the night. And sit on that freezing fucking toilet. It's fucking magic. Um. Anyway, I remember being in a caravan once, and my boss said some folk are coming in. Uh, they've got to fix something, or I don't know. Just some cunts came in, uh, day something, or take something away, some rubbish or something that was in the garden, or fuck knows what. And I don't know, her or some woman or some guy mentioned. I've never seen these cunts before. Mentioned box car. I box car will be something, something, something. And it's like this guy I'd never seen before. Is that all right? And, and just like I, what is it up there? Right, I, I like I don't know, drain pipe or fucking something. And then they mentioned box card, and I think that's box card. I was like, I was like to my mom, "What was that? Who's what was that box car? What? Oh, it's just like a guy's nickname. What's that mean? Because he looks a bit like box card Willie. It's a good name, box car. Who's box card Willie? And it's that cunt that I played there, some country guy that I don't know." Did songs as if he's, I don't know, I bought an old, old style box car, I don't know what you call it, hobo, litless hobo sort of thing, you know, some old fucking black and white version, guy just uh, a drifter. A drifter, that's funny, isn't it? Drifter. I think a uh, ramble. Wait, 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 wait. You hesitated! You hes You didn't know you were going left or right! And then you just fucking... You just cost some people their fucking lives. Keep driving, you're nearly there. Anyway. Um, anyway. There's nothing interesting to tell you about this cunt. I think I saw him. I can't remember what he looks like. Can't remember if he looked like that guy or no. But I remember this wee feeling of, and I was twelve, wasn't he eight? Was it pure wee? But I remember this feeling of, oh who's this guy? What's this exciting some new folk are here? Oh box car. Are these sort of funny people? Are they like are they going to come in and he's going to be talking about him and he's going to be talking about him and oh, is it going to be like a, you know, a double act? Somebody with a nickname Boxcar. But it was just a couple of fucking guys. But I had this wee feeling of... 
don't know, excitement that, that oh, are they are they good? Are they funny? Are they nice? Are they, I don't know, just because the cunt was called Boxcar and there he is with his pal, what age was the cunt? Maybe in his 50s. I say 50s or 60s, but the cunt's probably younger than me than no, I'm now. But it just reminded me of a feeling I used to have. Oh, do you ever get that wee feeling? <laughs> I know this is. I, I'm, I'm, I know I'm rambling a lot of shite here, but do you ever get that wee feeling? You're excited or interested in some way about a person. I don't mean absolutely anybody. Like, I, like I'm some sort of fucking robot. I don't feel that way at all, like, about people. Just, you know, oh, who are they? Who's this? No, not a crush. Don't mean that kind of thing. Like, just... I suppose what I'm trying to say is I'm 49 years of age. And all of that is fucking gone, man. A husk, aye. You know that, like, uh, I don't know. Jake Satan G Mac. <laughs> Thanks for the subs. Have I missed it? No, you've not missed it. any restaurant in the future yet. Logan, Dogma. Thanks for the subs. Oh. Thank you very much. It's funny, I don't know, I don't know what it is, I just sometimes see it, there's, there's various people following Twitter and then when I look at the For You thing, I see other people, and it, everybody's usually younger than me, and in some way connected to um, Twitch, or something like that, so I kind of see the world through their eyes, what they're into, what they talk about. And it reminds me that I was once like that, you know, interested in things, <laughs> interested in things, and uh, think I've got so, I've got some interest to say about this thing that's happening. Honestly, I, I was I was thinking about this yesterday. I was noticing. It's like, do you used to tweet about things? I used to, I, I used to like doing a bit of kind of trolling and stuff like that less than 10 years ago. I used to like saying horrible things or no really kind of I pissed anybody off that much or I don't know. And I'm not like that anymore. For various reasons. But I'm just no interested anymore or whatever, I don't know. But I just think even compared to say five years ago I'm not really interested in talking about anything you're too corporate now it's not that it's not right I really better watch I've got to kind of watch what I do here I, I'm, I, I kind of don't care as much here as I used to I used to be really scared about any uh, sexual things on here if I was, I was like if I was to make a wee joke or whatever, a wee story about fucking wanking or whatever, I think, oh, you can get, you can get fucking binned for that. You could get, that's against T.O. West, the way, uh, but then I just noticed certain things on Twitch and I thought, well, they're saying that and they're saying this and they're like on fucking, like a Twitch, TwitchCon fucking stage. Oh, fuck it. You know, if I make up with that, that improvs that did a particularly violent or sexual thinking, or I'm going to get, I can imagine somebody who's maybe um, got an axe to grind with me might uh, put in a wee kind of fake complaint. Yes, I saw this streamer as a partner and did highly sexual stuff, and, you know, I had my, I had my, my my child there and and I know you know adults only but even then it was the, you know but no nothing 
but so it, it's not that anyway. It's um, not interesting talking about. I'm not interested. I, I stopped. I stopped being interested in arguing about things on Twitter years ago. I just noticed it gets you nowhere. It gets you absolutely fucking nowhere. If I'm genuinely trying to change somebody's mind or make a point, it's not going to fucking happen. Isn't it going to fucking happen? Do I really think if I've got a point of view about something, that somebody's got a different point of view, and they argue with me or argue uh, argue with them, that they're going to change? Or I'm going to change? There's certain things I've talked about on Twitter that I feel a certain way about and then having interacted with people on Twitter I now feel a different way I feel more uh, the way they feel about it so I'm not like nobody cares about anybody nobody changes their thoughts for anything more more a willingness to be educated and informed in some way about some fucking matter or other whereas some other cunts are they, if you get into some argument, they're not actually like, I don't really know a lot about this topic. Does anybody know what's going on? Because I think this is what should be done. And then somebody will say, well, it might look like that, but in actual fact, it's this. Are you sure? I don't know about that, because I've heard this. I'm sure, and here's how I'm sure. Right. All right. Right, I see. I see, and then that person changes their mind, or you change your mind, or whatever. Most cunts online, aren't they like that? Not actually jumping on fucking Twitter and arguing with people to to have some sort of learning. It's for a. You know, it's just to kind of wind people up or argue and all the rest of it. The suspected ghost. Cringe user and thinks subs get James Pond to Robocod on. Sounds really good. I'm going to check that out. Jenksy thinks a sub. Craig has lived a colourful life. Yes. Wait a minute. Wait, wait. These are the lights on. Um, so I stopped arguing with people I stopped arguing with people who I don't know have a go at me or something I used to make an example of folk or quote tweet them and go look at this cunt or go you know how can you say that I mean you're saying this but you've contradicted yourself because like last year and sort of found this tweet it's just an absolute fucking waste of energy I don't know, maybe I've chilled out or whatever the fuck it is. But. My point is, I've just noticed I'm not interested in really. talking about it. It's all about much. I'm all interested in daft things. I've just almost thought about it kind of logically. If I do this or say this, it, it leads to this negative sort of feeling, usually. It's kind of like why I stopped eat, uh, eating fucking sugary stuff. I get a wee short-term buzz at it and then I feel like fucking shite uh, after it for, for quite a while. Not that I would get in an argument and feel like shite, it's just kind of pointless. Pointless? What if I... And if I ever want to get in an argument with people, it has to be a complete fucking annihilation. I'm not happy with just... I, I, I'd have to go to tune on them. And I'm not into fucking doing that anymore. You know, it has to be the full... Like, for the buzz. For the buzz. 
It has to be a complete fucking wipe it. Rather than, ah, oh, I made a good point. I'm not interested in fucking making any points. I'm not interested in being fucking right or wrong anymore. But, um, I the buzz, in order to, for, to make it worthwhile, the buzz I would have to get would require me to say certain things that I'm not into doing anymore. I'd have to be nasty. A horrible fucking bastard. That's the only thing that sort of gives me that kind of fucking buzz. In terms of Twitter arguments or whatever. You know, like, haha, this person said this to me, but look, I found this tweet. I used to love doing that. Somebody would say to me, I don't know, let, let's say this, for example. Um, let's say a guy said to me, um, you shouldn't use the word cunt. Let's say, this has never happened, but something like this kind of thing's happened before. You shouldn't have used the word cunt. And then, I would search from colon at their username, cunt. And there's them, no for ten years ago, no for five years ago, or even three, but just one year ago, saying, I, the cunt, said to me this. My boss has been an absolute cunt. I'm working on this job right now. It's an absolute, it's absolute cunt to get finished. And I'd go, look, everybody, look. They would then delete that tweet. And I'd go, don't worry. I screen grabbed that for you. I you were seen. But maybe it's actually said that, but there's just been various things about um you get pulled up for so because it's the fucking same with every cunt. You get people and I've been the same in the past. And these days I don't really care anymore, but um, you see somebody do something or say something or whatever it is and or, or somebody sees you you know something like that and you take it upon yourself to point out to them that they're no a very good person for doing that they're an unethical person something like that And then, I don't know, this is a shite example, right? But let's say the clothes that you wear and where they're made and what conditions. You get somebody saying you shouldn't really buy that, you know, that's, that, that shop is known for this. And then you look through their pictures. Da, 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 bang! Nike or Adidas or something like that. And then... You Google Adidas, what conditions, factories, accident, not paying money out, compensation, you know, I fruit of loom, something like that. And you go, well, what's this? And then they lock their account. You know, something like that. Because I think a lot of people are just going like that. I'm a good person. You're a bad person. Here, I'll prove it. Or, I don't know. I don't know. Just some people forget that we're all scumbags. Different levels to scumbaggery. I'm not saying you, I'm not saying you shouldn't care about anything. Don't mean that. But, um... You can always find something. You can always find something on any cunt. And I don't know, I got fucking tired of that. Trivial arguments, serious arguments.
Ja, ja. Uh, I saw... I can't remember how I started talking about this, but... There's people that I know through Twitch or that kind of thing. Where the fuck are you going? And I see the world through their eyes. They're like, say, 20-somethings or 30-somethings. And I see them still interested in things and all that, which is, which is good. <laughs> How patronising does that sound? I see them still interested in things, which is good. You know, good for them. Oh, it's because I'm trucking. Reminded me of that song Freightliner Fever, Boxcar Willie. Reminded me of that feeling of, oh, who's this person? Boxcar, who's that? And being interested in things and people and new things and all that. Do you know, I don't know what's happened to me because, and wait a second! This is going to be quite the fucking job, this. Ah, oh, you know what? Fuck it. Park it. Um, reckless. You better give me something. Zero. No money. No even, no even for the petrol. Okay. Cat McMuscles. Roseb. Download things of Subs and Antenna. Thank you very much. 1.3 million in damages. Good. What's that? Fast delivery. Uh, all the way to Washington. Urgent delivery. Right. And? All my deliveries get done as quickly as possible. Whoops a daisy. Um, actually, uh, uh, um, F7. Total service. Yes, yes. Let's get this all sorted at first. Washington State, not to be confused with Washington DC. I looked up what Washington DC is. District of Columbia, is it? And it's it. It's its own. Whoops, a daisy. No, like Vatican City or anything like that. But it's uh, what's this? Is it saying state a state without state rights? It's got it's, it's got its own sort of thing on the go. Anyway, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not like some sort of, um, why, is there, is there any reason why nobody's telling me please hydrate? Why is, why are people no in tears because they kind of get my attention to tell me to hydrate? Thanks for the sub. I'm not, by the way, I just want to say, but alright, got away with it. I'm not some sort of nihilist uh, where, oh, I'm alright, Jack, and I don't give a fuck about anything, fuck everything, or I'm 49, fuck everything and every cunt. I think maybe it just comes naturally when you get to a certain age, or. No, it's not, it's not actually, there's people older than me that I know on Twitter and they're pure. Um. I don't know, are interested in things and care about things and I'm not I'm no I'm not coming across the right way. 
I don't mean I'm, I'm not come across as a decent person. I'm no actually. I sound like I'm saying like I don't care about anything. I'm completely fucking unfeeling. Pla thanks for telling me, to hydrate. You've always been a cynical wank. I fucking have, not I don't know. I just see. I just see certain tweets where. It's like I'm reminded of look at this nice wee place look. Reminded of who I was even just like five fucking years ago. Wait, what's the windy again? Is it Look? Does it wipe the glass? It does it wipe the water? It does look at that look! Look at that. What about this one? Is it There it is, look! It has wiped. This is my road. I've been honestly for the last three months or so it feels like the most consistently happy I've ever fucking been or consistently happy and stable out with antidepressants. I've mentioned it before, but even like yesterday, um, I know I talk about this all the time, and then I talk about sugar, and then I talk about I've cut out all the sugar and that's helped and that, but it's still maintained. It wasn't like some, like, the last time I talked about it, which was whenever, a month ago, that it was just some sort of wee, I don't know, high for something, some sort of change in my fucking life, and then I can, I'm used to it now. Yesterday, I was just in the fucking kitchen, going to make a cup of tea, and I just had this fucking wave. A happiness that felt almost physical, it felt almost like drug-induced, or... Something like, something like that, and I've been getting that... for fucking ages. Galveston. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Right. Right, so that job's fucking gone. Going for Beaumont to Abilene. See when we get, we're going for Beaumont to Abilene, however you say it. See when we get to Abilene, we're going to look at some fucking reviews. Trailer is ready, right? I just consistently feeling good. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because of I don't know. I've just cut various. I I've just minimised all the wee fucking uh, trivial wee stresses and. No, there's nothing. It's get me annoyed or stressing me out. There's nothing to be concerned about. It's like a nice wee, and I'm really appreciating it. There's a there's a muted ninety nine percent of chat. I've only muted a few words and a few people, really. Honestly. See if you think, oh, I'm muted, I'm muted. I have muted about a dozen words and, and variations of those words and um, uh, you said about half a dozen people. 
as I've said before, I'm, the mutant is just... It's not. It's, it's people who have not done anything fucking wrong. But... Um, wait, 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 wait. Aye, that way. But, you know, it's, they've got a tendency either to kind of troll a bit or say negative fucking things and I'm usually alright with it, but if I come on a particular day I can't be fucked seeing it. Um, I'll just mute them. Because it's like their whole fucking persona. It's to just be that kind of way and I'm just like, I can't be fucked with it. But no enough to, no enough to time out or ban. Just... And then another day will come when I when I wouldn't mute them, but I've already got them muted, and I'm no compelled to. I've not got the urge to unmute. I'm not like that, right? Um, I can take it now. I unmute now. No, just why? Why would I fucking unmute? That's made this happier, keeping myself to myself has made me happier, cutting out the whole raids thing and all the complications that go with that has made this happier. Kind of playing what I want, switching off the fucking view account, view account has made this happier. And lots of other wee bits of bobs. So I swear to God, see just ending my fucking stream and got to the kitchen and making a fucking cup of tea in my lunch. Get waves of fucking joy. Sitting down in the living room and watching Breaking Bad again. No spoilers. Lacus and Wiggles thinks the subs. Keep trucking, get it a day. Thanks for no requests. Charlie, thanks for the fiver. My role at work has changed. And I unfortunately can no longer watch your streams while working. This is a heartfelt goodbye. Listen, you've always got the VODs. Satalo Disco and Aaron thinks the subs. Napoleon thinks the sub. Nossa Harrix. Download thinks the subs. Happy for your three months. Happy Street Aye. Three months. Can't make muscles. Thanks for the sub. Thank you very much. Do you know, some people did tell me before that um, Jimmy Two-Face thinks the bits. You know that White Christmas episode of Black Mirror where you can mute and blur people in real life or something? Would that be a good reality for you? I don't need to. One thing that's really made us a lot happier is just realise how fucking simple I am. How simple. John goes in, right? Okay. Hey. John got underscore 31. Yep, that's just the, that's the, that's the how I thought. The name was, was yet. Yeah. Okay. Jungle thirty ones and everybody, P, uh, please be respectful. Full name, Jungle underscore thirty one. Great name.
Okay. Hope this is the right one. I can hope so. Uh, glad you could join us, by the way, John. Go welcome. Was that eighteen minutes past eleven? Okay. How how long has the stream been going for? One hundred and fifty minutes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Grey Matter thinks it's up. That's funny you're saying uh, your name's Grey Matter. Um, break bad. Chonko, thank you very much for your service. On there. Bum ba dum bum. Bum ba dum dum. Dum dum dum. Dum dum That's right, I wish you heaven. It's a Prince song, everybody. It's funny, I like Prince and all the rest of it. Um, we were, no, no mean Prince and Huss, looking through things to watch, and on, what was it on? The oh, right. I play on maybe. Um, it was like lots of music things, and I had Prince concert. This Prince concert for the eighties, mid eighties, or I but my it's popular so mid eighties that he did in where was it Dallas or somewhere. Um, and Lynn said, "Oh, does, does Prince will watch that?" I went, no, I bought that video. See that video there? It's been like remastered. They've, they've remixed it, taken it a bit of the grain and all that video stuff. Um, I said, no, it's shit. I actually bought it. Where did I buy it? Um, Tower Records in Ar on Argyle Street, I think. Because I was buying all sorts of Prince things. All the albums. I saw Love Sexy tour on the telly. And then for that point, I went around buying fucking everything. And I thought, oh, I'll, I'll buy this. And it's it's like, there's no getting around it. And I say this as a Prince fan. It can be cringy as fuck. And I've, I've uh, seek hydration, thank you very much. Cringy, like. I just, I don't know. I don't know. I just said I don't watch it, shame. It's that one, um, I played it before, I played it like the trailer for it or something. On the stream, some 80s concert, and, and they punted it as if it's remastered and remixed and all that, like it's some sort of fucking, uh, what was that? Uh, Disney Plus, Peter Jackson, Beatles thing, was it uh, Get Back? As if it's that. But obviously it isn't, it's just a fucking concert. But I don't know, This it's as if they punted it as a... 
something's been restored. This amazing concert. But it's all filmed fucking like video for the telly. You can't get a run video. You can't get a run blown fucking highlights and things like that with, with, with video stuff. You know when videos not got a uh, video just looks fucking shite. Kinda. Video back then's only got a certain uh, what you call it dynamic range between the darkest what it can show is, it, is the darkest stuff compared to the lightest stuff. What is it again, everyone? Uh, maybe broadcast quality not interlacing, Eddie Purple uh, bum, not interlacing. Don't just chuck the word interlacing about. Uh, broadcast quality video in the 80s what dynamic range would we say maybe 8 stops perhaps maybe not even no way 8 stops 6 stops perhaps See, see if you want to really look like you know what you're talking about with photography and things like that. Talk about stops. Um, no, if you if you have wanting the sweet spot with a nifty fifty, never open it um, fully. Drop it at least uh, a full stop. Well, and the same goes with any lens. Drop it about uh, two stops from the the maximum. Can you can you drop it down about a third uh, third there stop? I must have looked it up again, again, and again. What is a fucking stop in photography measure of brightness and well kind of like you know type of thing no right what right wait and I'd never I'd never needed to really know fully I just know if you go like and it's dropping down that whole thing there you go that's like a third there stop each time or something like that fuck knows Like when they go like that, um, yes, these gels, you could use this um, uh, white sort of diffuser stuff for the light, but it will drop uh, the exposure down by about two thirds of a stop. Ah. Or the brightness. I said the video looks fucked, you can't fucking remaster it, nothing you can do. Once you film something in video, that's it, it's fucked. Dead, 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 dead. And I remember that, that concert when I bought it. The qual the the singing was shite. Remember playing it on the stream? I was like, what, what, what's the first song they're doing? Let's go crazy. The singing's fucking shite. No his. But I don't know, like Wendy maybe or Lisa. And that fucking who, who's who's the other guy? Is it called something like Brown Mark? You just wanna know if you just don't know who the fuck I'm talking about. I would say Prince, you're like who what You just probably think I'm talking about Prince Harry. Yes, sir. Ah, Ken Burgie. And the back and the back and singing was go crazy. It was like go crazy. It just and it's too loud. That's why with this 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 thing they've got on iPlayer or whatever, 
they've basically like remixed it so you don't fucking hear that as much and they've mixed it with stuff that wasn't even recorded and that guy singing in place of Dez what's his name who actually sang in like um, 1989 the guy they've got singing that part fucking shit I remembered watching it and, and being like right into Prince but think to myself this is really quite cringy and sort of shite and this bit goes on for ages have you ever seen Prince at that James Brown thing where he made a bit of fool of himself the one Michael Jackson got on stage and then right if you imagine that, but not as bad as that, I reckon, but there's just some moments that are quite, I don't know, you'd have to fucking see it. Shite. Get up. I can't be fucked. Pull it up. As I said before, whenever you watch any interview with anybody who's worked with Prince, and I say this as a Prince fan, there is an undertone. As much as they might compliment and go, oh, you know, uh, a genius. He was a fucking dick. It's always just that wee feeling that they're no one to come out and say it. They, they're no one to come out and say it. And I say that as a Prince fan. I tell you what, I tell you what fucking pissed me off. I was watching... Um, An interview with um, Wendy and Lisa. It might have just been Wendy, kind of recent, recently. I don't know if you know, but Wendy and Lisa were in his band, The Revolution. Basically, at the peak of his career. Um, she came up with it, Wendy came up with the intro to Purple Rain, that guitar intro and all the rest of it. Um, there's no denying he's very creative and a uh, brilliant musician and all, the, all that and wrote lots of stuff and brilliant performer etc etc right but I've heard side of the times that album being described as what happens when one man is left to his own devices? As if it's see the side of the times, that's all him. There's this one guy just making stuff up. And then I watched this interview with Wendy and Lisa. And Wendy was just listing um, a number of the songs that basically he had left them to work on just went, ah, here's an idea go and do something with it here's an idea, go and do something with it you know, she described them that was that was uh, me and Lisa that was Thingy that was Thingy who did that one that was Thingy who did that one and I was like, right, I see So I can imagine them having to bite their fucking tongue for ages. They should come out with... What would be a good name for a, a book by um, uh, them talking about Prince and how, you know, he's not, not actually that good. He's good. He's brilliant. 
but he's not maybe as brilliant as what you think. What be a good title? Shite of the times. Aye, aye, that's good. Aye, that's the one. That's it. That's it. We've done, we've done it. The real revolution. No, we've got it. When doves lie. Mm. When doves lie. Yeah. That's perfect. But I really think, and this is a decision for the top, we're going to go with shite of the times. I think we should do uh, when doves lie because it, it's a bit like sort of like a bit lies and it's a one syllable word that rhymes we cry when doves cry we're going with shite of the times that got the strongest reaction in the focus groups Eka Jake thinks of subs how long did it take you to find your way around Ableton? Let me be messing around with it for two weeks and nothing has fucking gone in. Um. Well. It depends what you're. It depends what you're trying to learn. If you're trying to learn too much too soon, it'll just be. It'll just be fucking confusing. You'll be looking at things like the wee bit at the side where you can sort of delay a track by a certain amount of milliseconds and I never fucking touch that. Lots of wee things like that that are pointless. I think the main thing you want to learn is how to make a MIDI track and how do I make an audio track that is like an actual recording of real sound as opposed to MIDI instruments, right? How do I put notes in? How do I change the volume at each track? What's the difference between session view and arrangement view? And then some shortcuts. How do I press play without having to go up to that fucking play button, hit space, things like that. And then... Um, what are some basics that will make it all sound a bit better, like a compressor? That's about it. That's about it. In terms of the in terms of uh, technical stuff. But if you're looking at like an uh, analog synth or whatever, you're going, how do I make sounds up? I don't want to just use these presets. How do I actually make it up? There's tons of videos. So just just search uh, Ableton beginner, 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 beginner. And don't skip anything. Don't go, oh, I can know that. Watch it anyway. Even if you watch a 10 minute video, and there's something in that 30 seconds or a minute, a minute that's um, kind of new to you, I, I'd say it's worthwhile. Because you always find something in all these wee videos where you go, oh, what was that? I didn't know you could do that. Or oh, I can just hide that. I didn't know that. You know, wee things like that. Let's convoy since the sub. What's up, big man? I'll tell you what's up. This first up your fucking ass. Yes! Cooch thinks the sub. Thoughts on the M74? Dick trees? I don't know what that is. Trees look like cocks or something. Nell and Ross thinks the sub. Acknowledge the supremacy of the blue usernames. I don't want to get involved. Ifley and Ross Lambert thinks the sub's in three quid. Have you seen the darts player Peter Wright? Real life version of Quantum Mechanics. Is that guy with the, well, purple hair and all the rest of it? Uh, wait a minute. 
Oh, it's up the back. Mr. Chanford thinks they're bits. Prince and George Harrison concert playing Will McDonald. Oh, I've seen it, aye. It's nice seeing George Harrison's son or pleased and all that. Okay, what's happened here? But you know, it's always a good experiment. I advise you to uh, um, try this. There was a George Harrison tribute concert thing. I don't know. Not long after he died, I'm assuming. Maybe. Um, Prince did a, a guitar solo for it. It was in the 90s or maybe 2000s. And it was good and all the rest of it. Comes on, does that. We bought a showmanship, and that's it. And I was watching it, going, "Oh, that's good." Try this when you when you see something like that. Try go like that. It's not good. And see if it fits. If you know what I mean. If you see something that people say is funny. Or really, a talent, a talent, a very musical, or anything like that. See what happens if you go like that to yourself, or a film, or there's a moment. Every there's a there's a video going around of this moment, um, an Oscars uh, acceptance speech, and you notice yourself smiling and being happy for them. You're like that, right? Have a wee moment to go like that. See yourself going like that, being like that. And then go like that. Ah, lot of fucking shite. And because you might find that you're right. Force yourself not to enjoy anything. No, 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 just get a shot. Okay, fuck this. Where are we again? What's the name of this place? Abilene. Abilene. Finally, a bit of money. You know, just like. Pfft. What does this have to do with Prince? Because uh, I'm talking about the, the, the concert thing. George Harrison thing that he... Uh, MF thinks of the bits. The, uh, the pink bastard's back. Bingo thinks of the bits. New FF7. Nah, I don't know. I don't know. Cats aren't jerks. They're just misunderstood. Uh, and I don't think... Uh, Final Fantasy... 7 Remake, how long to beat? 100, let's see. 32 and a half. If you're focusing on the main objectives. Is that a game you should like to see? Probably Rebirth. Full game, no commentary. No. Punish on mode, strong attacks, spells. Yeah. 
I don't know. I mean, I can glance at something like God, it's not my cup of tea. It's fucking Dark Souls. Now, this is a game. Level 1 hot babe. That's a game. Anything else? I'll take your damned key and take the lead. I'll show you what I can do. Why don't you lead the way? I got this. <laughs> Just like lots of wee fights and wee arenas. Could be talking about fucking Dark Souls though. I was just looking at her. I was just looking at her ass. Honestly, I was just being nice. I'll just tell her to smile more. She might just smile more if I grab her. Buddy is well fit. I just found the socials. I've been liking all the pics too. Just sent her a picture of my big one love. Just saying, she might like it. Just ask her if she needed a daddy. Just seeing if I can put her you what? in her place. Just saying, I could if I wanted to. Just letting her know. Right, get the idea. I'll start. Obviously, it's meant to be uncomfortable and all that, but it just didn't feel like the sort of fucking thing that I actually want to play. Listen. Listen. I'm not trying to virtue signal here or get in anybody's good books or be a, a white knight or anything like that. But I'm sure we'd all agree and I say this as a man that if and there might be some one or two wee issues regarding the survival of the species and all the rest of it, but that aside, if men and I know I don't want it I don't want it start out and I say this as a guy. If men were to just fucking vanish off the face of the earth. And I know people are people. And everybody's capable of doing bad things. I've just got a feeling. That everyone would be. Probably better. I mean, I mean, in terms of, uh, I don't know. Violence and that kind of thing. I say that as a guy. As a guy. Without apology. Solomir says, idiot, right? So that person said, idiot. I've got this almost... This, is, this isn't a fucking death threat. But I have felt an urge to kill people. Simply for no saying thanks when I've held the door open for them. That if you give me a button, and if I press that button, their deed, I would do it. In that moment. That can't be right. That can't be right. I think that's normal. Aye, bad example. I think everybody's like that. Um, aye. Forget what I just said there, everybody. Bad example. Bad point. Bad point. Um... I don't know. All I'm saying is, actually, if you forget about what I said before, see if you just put me in charge, I'd sort the whole fucking lot of everything in one year. And you so when it, to begin with, people be like, it's no right, one person should not have this amount of power. After a year, you should be like that, I've got to get to them, it is a lot better for everybody. 
All there is to it. Help! What's that then? I, mean, I don't think anybody could disagree with that. What I said. You know yourself, you're an asshole. You surely know. I know I'm. Uh, oh, I so I I Abilene. I know, I know I'm. Oh, Doogie Blue. I Doogie Blue. When I was a teenager, when I was about uh, what age were we? Sort of like for about age of. Kind of like uh, about eight, uh, 17, so about age of like 16, 18, run about then. I run about then. Used to go down to Millport every summer or Easter or any September weekend, October week, or these sort of holidays. Um, Got to know lots of people down there who also went down for Glasgow, Greenock, Gourock, Paisley, and all the rest of it, and there was people who just stayed there. There was this there was this guy called Doogie Blue. I don't know how the fuck we all got I got introduced to him, but it was a guy called Doogie Blue who looked like he was an it was an older guy. Um what age would he have been? I'm looking at me right now. I'd say it's about my age. Um, uh, what did they look like? You had... He's, he's kind of... Witch looking. He's quite, quite wee and quite skinny, old looking. He had dark hair, kind of bald and a wee bit. Is it, was he was bald at the top? I don't know, kind of maybe thin at the top. Well, like curly hair, black curly hair, right? Keep it about there. Um, and and uh, what did they fucking look like? What did they look like? Jerry Sadowitz? No. No. You'd have to take Jerry Sadowitz in shrivel him right up and no Jerry Sadowitz no no I, I, can't, I can't quite remember but I, he's really kind of old looking right and his name is Doogie Blue and I don't know how so, some people mentioned Doogie Blue we've got a Doogie Blue who's Doogie, Doogie Blue's house or something like that right and basically what he was was this older cunt my age if no older he's probably younger right who hung about with uh, teenagers like us would allow us now I don't I don't I never sensed anything fucking uh, sexual about it right but who fucking knows right but I never sensed anything like that he was just this um, weird guy the, the, the story is I said, how's he called? Not, you know, uh, he used to be into taking acid, taking mushies. He would let us go at his house. He was, he travelled somewhere when he was a bit younger or something, showed his 40s, that was him in, I don't know, Egypt or somewhere, that was him there. And he was apparently a, a bit of uh, an alky. Because I, I, I remember asking somebody, how was he called? Where's the name Doogie Blue come from? Is that his name? No. Apparently, he used to be an alky. That is a drinking alky as opposed to recovering alky. And, um, uh, was found run at the beach one night, like he disappeared and was found almost dead or something, basically dying of hypothermia. Um, when he got steaming one night. 
hence blue, Doogie Blue. Um, that's how he got that name. And and uh, I he used to let us all like go round to his house, and we could drink there, or if we were tripping or whatever, like take mushies, to go round there. And he just, he, he just, he just seemed like some sort of like acid casualty sort of cunt, acid casualty sort of guy, um, or something like that. Who obviously doesn't fit in with fucking adults. You never saw him like hanging about with or even speaking with any adults. Um, and always hanging about uh, with us, and he kind of spoke a bit like that. I I I start I, I kind of liked him at first and started to hate him just thinking who is this cunt. I remember he was he was talking to us about something and I ran away from him. Right, I, I can't remember what the fuck it was. Right, I ran away from him. No, that like he was chasing us. Right, it was like honestly, it was like almost a frail sort of cunt. Ran ran away from him uh, for some reason. Right, just I don't know, bolted away. And he went like, "You're only running away from yourself." It wasn't Billy Connolly, no. <laughs> he had a rough sort of voice. You're only running away from yourself. That's the sort of shite he came out with. Stuff like that, right? Um, you know, as if he's sort of like, uh, I don't know, like some sort of Terence McKenna, or, oh, I've went to the other side. You know, I've taken stuff and seen things. Not like a fucking shaman or anything like that, but you know, like that one of these cunts. Um, and we go to the pub sometimes when we got to about 18, I remember getting in and he'd be sort of like dancing there or happy or something like that. Sometimes I'd bump into him and, and say, am I a wee bit depressed? Just remember, I was like a teenager, I went through this sort of what felt like a kind of depression. It was a depression, but no one way that I was suicidal, but not at that point. I was suicidal when I was about fucking 15. I slashed my wrist when I was 15, but that was near. That was like quite a depression sort of thing. It was something else. But when I got to about 17 or 18, I had this really calm... That I was into the fucking Smiths, got into the Smiths. And I had this sort of... I changed base, a teenager, a teenage way where I'm no... Jumping about fucking daft anymore, no getting a fuck. But I changed into something else. And I just this kind of calm sort of way or sadness or something came here. And I met bumped into it once. I said, I just feel a bit depressed just now or something he went like oh I've he said oh I've been there been there and I'm not going back something like that he was he seemed to be like an alright sort of guy for somebody who's who hung about with teenagers when he was like basically about 50 and and another thing he would encourage us to take uh, uh, mushies we were all fucking take mushies at the time anyway, or acid or something like that. He'd be like, this feels that that, 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 that if I did an impression of him, I would always do this. There's fields of them out there. There's fields of them up there. Like, see, if you go up to the middle of the Isle of Cumbria, which Millport is on, Millport's a wee town, the only town on this island called Cumbria, off the west coast of Scotland, right? And if you go up to the fields... It sort of rises and it's a base on an island, so it rises at the top, uh, in the middle. I mean, um, there's like tons of mushies up there in September, October, around about then. And he'd be like, "There's fields of them up there," and then you know, take them and people would go to his. It's like he used to. I don't know. It's like the cunt used to take. Did you hear the dog go there? Hold on. It's like he used to take acid or mushies when he was younger, and no, and he's he's wanting to stay like that. He's no want to fucking grow up. He, he he doesn't want a job, a family, sitting about in a pub talking about football or whatever. And maybe in Millport, that means then you then become a full time permanent fucking tripper. A weirdo freak sort of cunt that has to hang about with teenagers to find like-minded individuals or something. Fuck knows. 
I don't know what his motivation, uh, his, what his motives were, where the whole way he was. But that was that. Um, weird sort of cunt. Hanging about with teenagers. And then, I think I went down, um, maybe in my 30s. I think I cycled or something. Or I asked somebody, I don't know, quite a bit later on. It might have even been, was in my mid-twenties I went down again. And I said, what happened to Doogie Blue? Because I didn't see him for a while. Oh, he did, he's dead. I said, aye, what happened? Aye, I, I, something, I don't know, something, I um, died. He's dead or something. Um, fuck knows what heart attack fell off a fucking cliff topped himself choked in his end sick fuck knows um, but it's funny I'm just like I thought about him all day I thought who was that cunt who was that fucking guy Um, who was that other one? Dickie Blue. Somebody else. Fuck knows. I was just like... There's this guy called Jack. I remember that... Um, was running about the same age as us. I think I've told you about this before. This fascinating story. When we were underage drinkers, we were all... He was about maybe a year old. I was like about 15. He was maybe 16 or 17. He was from Glasgow somewhere. And um, and you always used to wear the same shirt all the time. And we, we said wee things about him and all that. He was like, all right, guy, you sometimes take a piss at a folk and all that, right? But he... Um, is it? He was a he was a bit analky, and then we'd all sort of moved on to going into the pub. He still went to the pub, but we moved on and got to the pub. And then nineteen year old, twenty year old, maybe twenty one, uh, got to pubs, and you'd see him hanging about with folk the same age as we were when I first met him, you know, around about 15, 16. So I don't know what his motives were, but he was a bit an alky and wanted to just continually do the, um, the drinking outside sort of thing, the, I don't know, that kind of life, fuck knows. But he was a right... He was alright getting up in the morning, there's a fucking uh, can of tenant sitting on a fucking radiator for the, the the night before and he'd be like drinking it. And my pal that I had at the time told me, and this is where I got that, the sketch I got, um, I don't know if you saw my dream scheme sketch in the third series of Let Me Show, where I, I'm the, uh, this guy just sort of like stoning about and I'm being sick, this, this black stuff coming out, my sex, like, it's all black. Um, that's based on him because one of my pals told us I was running uh, his house oh, no no they were walking I think and that, that guy was just yapping away he was just sort of talking away and then like almost mid mid conversation he was just like ah, I, I. <clears throat> lean there like a shudder sort of thing like that <clears throat> and black kind of stuff came out and then, and then sort of carried on talking about whatever the fuck it was. Because obviously his body's fucking uh, uh, fucked up with the, with the drinking or whatever. <laughs> so I don't know, but that would be maybe, what would you call that? Congealed, sort of congealed internal bleeding. Um, so he's probably fucking dead or not. But... Uh, Ah, it's funny, isn't it? Bio, I know, but it's all black. It could have been, who knows, it could have been, it could have been sick with Guinness or something, but I don't think he was, I don't think he would spend the money on fucking Guinness. 
Swag and Siamese guns, that's a substance bits. We had a guy called Plastic Terry in York, could always be in the closet of teenagers, wonder if every city was, aye, has got to be. Definitely, everywhere. The Thorn Within and Swippy, Wiffles, Wiffles and Sir Walls, thanks to the subs. Thank you very much. I uh, got to do the least. Thanks to the, um, thanks to Subbing On, Miss. You got to see the lead singer for Killing Joke doing a spoken word at the garage? No. Pablo Cristendo thinks the subs. Men are so cringe. Or 16 minutes ago. Thank you very much. I don't know. Listen, as I've said before, I'm not fucking daft. I'm not, I'm not daft. I'm not going like that. Uh, all men are bad and, and everybody else is, is good and all that and all the rest of it. I'm just looking at the fucking statistics, that's all. I'm looking at the statistics. I'm looking who starts things. Who is it you see all about when everything's all fucked up? Who is it you see? It's me. It's cunts like me. The thing is, I'm just, I'm just commenting because nothing can get done about it. Um, I'm just, go, I'm just going like that. It's, it's funny. It's funny. But I will say one thing about men. And it's always men uh, with the guns and bombs and fucking everything. It's all these fucking bad things that have happened in history. Usually it's big groups of men and, you know, all that. But I will say this, some fucking banter on us, eh? Am I right, boys? A banter. I gets his after hook just, only just. Exactly, who could stay mad at us? I'm fucking laugh. But again, that's to, that's not to say that's only men who have got banter and all that. Got banter. Oh, I was thinking, by the way, so I made up a wee spinning logo, Lemmy. And I was thinking about Lemmy, twitch.tv forward slash Lemmy. And it spins and then it says, it turns into banter. And the bit that said twitch.tv forward slash that's above Lemmy, when it spins... That's no on the left side because it's going to be on the right. And the limmy, when it turns like that, would then turn into banter because the, the the L will hopefully cover that up maybe and then it'll, that was a good transition for the B. It'll say, limmy, touch the TV for slash limmy and then it spins. The home of banter. Ship it. The home of banter. In fact, let me just see something just now. Just wee second. Just let me check something. Right, hopefully this doesn't fuck up the stream. Stolen off Dave. D d uh, what does um, what did Dave have? Is it the home of comedy? The home was it? Was it banter? The home of witty banter. Um, well, I would... I would change it. I would... I don't know, hold on, I've got something for you. I've got something for you. It gives me a second. That looks lovely. Right. Right, that looks good. 
That looks good, right, hold on. Right, let me just see if there's anything sensitive on the screen. Don't think so. Right, let me see if I can show you this. Right, you might be able to see this all right. Let me just check. There we go. So this is your DaVinci Resolve here. Right. Right. I've been looking up videos how you how you work with this fucking node carry on or this shite. Right. It's actually no that fucking hard. There's a few, a few wee tricky things, right? As you're spinning, look, look, we're a wee bit, uh, hold on. Right, there it is there, look. There it is there, where's the fucking camera? That's what I want. There's your camera there, look. Up close, wide angle sort of camera, lit where we pink light. Right. Got a wee rotation animation, nice wee pink light that comes through the back to sort of see it catch that there. That there, I mean look at that, look at that, look. Anyway, but look how easy it is. Watch. Uh, where's the text? Not Lemmy. Banter. Now we're fucking talking. There we go. And we can get an AC4. Uh, fourth corner. Uh, gradient. Right, maybe not that. But... Something like that. Make that a bit dark. Oh, I didn't mean that. Uh, put that darker one up the top left. Make it lighter up the top, top right. Like that. And make it light, uh, lighter down the bottom left as well. Hey, go ahead, as your... There you are. Move the camera a bit. Look at that. There's so much you can do with it. That's just, the t and that's just the tip of the iceberg. I think that actually saved. And that's actually just the tip of the iceberg. Um, Milsey, Smelford, Spark the Rat, thanks the subs. You're very welcome. Little Tommy and Swag, thanks the sub. A longer streak than you. Two months, thank you very fucking much. Astro Cringe. Oh, that. I can't remember what that was again. The Astro Turf, but. Smell for things to sub. Portics, please. Ah, nice one. Uh, everybody, I'm fucking busting. Just because you'll be synced. Does that mean I have to have my legs in the air all night? Well, I don't have a vase, do I? How's everybody keeping? Uh, I didn't mean to start anything earlier when I said that thing about guys. Um, just wanted to sort of get on. I, I'd say that, f that falls under the, the topic of 
uh, heavy topics. No heavy topics. Oh, right, so, aye. Uh, right, wait. What was the name of the place? I am currently at Abilene or Abilene in Texas. Get a Discord channel for it. Discord, Discord channel. Uh, called what? Men? Men's Heal Zone. Healing Zone. How about that? It's a city, everybody. Men's Healing Zone. A place where men can talk openly without judgment, without fear of judgment, without fear of judgment about... What is this wrong with us? What's, what is this? You know, without fear of judgment, God knows we've had enough of that. Abilene, just next to Colorado City and Sweetwater, Sweetwater, Abilene, right, first of all, how do you say it, if you just joined us everybody, I was playing American Truck Simulator, and I stopped at a place in Texas, I delivered something to a place called Abilene or Abilene or something, uh, I'm going to check out, see what it's actually like in real life, and maybe look at some restaurant reviews. Ow, oh, this, or oh, not to move. Oh. We love, all right, here we go. Bone on bone pain in the knee? Yeah. Watch this. I used to suffer from chronic knee pain caused by osteo... Sorry, why did you say chronic knee pain... You almost sounded like a robot there. Why was that? Is it because of the knee? I TikTok. I. We've given you all the reasons why you should move to Abilene, Texas. Ah, do the bottom left, everybody. If you want to be original, be ready to be copied. Well, wait a minute. How are they sitting on books? How is that? Is that just, does that all just come as a one, the one, like, ornament? Did it come in, can you, can you reorder them to, like, to be original, to be copied, be ready if you want. Could be, could be that. To be original, that is, or, you know, to be copied, or, or to be original, and which is very likely to lead to you being copied, to be copied, you know, and all the other things that comes with, that, that comes with that. Be ready if you want, but I would suggest you don't get ready. That's what it means. Don't get ready, because it's going to happen anyway. Do you know what I mean? And today, I'm going to give you my top five reasons of why you shouldn't move to Abilene. What's she saying? Is she saying Abilene? Today, I'm going to give you my top five reasons of why you shouldn't move to Abilene. Ab Abilene. Abilene. Oh, shit. Quit it.
Number five. I want a fucking team. Give me that. Now let me team. I'm going to make this. I'm going to animate it and everything. Number five. Abilene is not. Abilene. Nice and clearly. Abilene. There it is. Not a fast paced city. So if you're looking for all the hustle and bustle of a big city, Abilene is not it. People Good. drive pretty slow and they take their time at every store that you go to. Perfect. You can move. You could, you know what, you know what it sounds like to me? It sounds to me like Twilight, uh, Twilight Zone. Stop. Willoughby. Sounds like Willoughby to me. It's miss it's missing the bit that I like. I think it's missing it. Wait a minute. It's missing it. It's not got the full episode. Radio? Guy says, I nice nice place. Well life. We can enjoy, you can enjoy your life full measure. I think he says, uh, uh, full pace or something like that, full measure. But a man can slow down and enjoy his life. That's where I got that part of you when I'm at the necropolis. Um, That's what this place sounds like. You can slow down and actually enjoy your life. So number four, Abilene is just not the prettiest city in America. So we don't have a ton of trees. I mean, we have mesquite trees. I think they're pretty. Of course, I grew right. up here. We can look at, just look at the same tree, but for different angles. We have a ton of trees. I mean, we have mesquite trees. I think they're pretty. Of course, I, like I grew them. up here. But we don't have the big, tall trees that so many other places do. We don't have mountains. We do have a couple of hills out in Tuscola, but not the really pretty mountains like you see in That's Colorado. Fine. We That's don't fine. have rivers. We do have a couple of small little lakes. That's fine. But it's just not the super scenic, breathtaking place like some other places are. Another thing about Abilene is a lot of our buildings are a lot older. So we just That's don't fine. have all of the new History. modern buildings that some cities do. We do have a couple of new shopping centers, so You'll see some, just not a lot, like there are in a lot of the larger cities. Number three. If you're trying to talk, mate. Three is the nightlife. I will say our nightlife is a lot better than whenever I was growing up here, but we mainly have bars, so we don't have any really big, like, dance clubs. That's all right. I'm, I'm 49. I'm not interested in that. You know, party places, if you're looking for something like that. The good news is, is that the nightlife scene keeps growing as Abilene keeps getting bigger. Number two, the weather. So for me, this is hard because I love our weather, but a lot of people that move here just don't love it as much. I would like you to elaborate. Would you rate, would you rate everybody too hot? Or can get a bit rainy? Looking at their trees. So in the summer. Texas, it's fucking Texas. Summer, it's around 100 degrees or higher sometimes. In English, please. Thirty-seven. Fuck that. Times twenty days in a row. It's kind of sporadic, starting in the hundreds from May until August. Well, in September, it finally cools off to maybe 90, 95. <laughs> Just depends. But the great thing is, every single year is different. Uh, the wind. What is Fahrenheit again? I mean, what's the what's the ideal? Fahrenheit. What's the big idea? 
Wikipedia Simple English. Oh, thank you very much. Right. Right, if you could tell me... If you could tell me how we how they came up with it. Um, several accounts of how he originally defined his scale exist, but the original paper suggests but the lower in, the lower defining point zero was established as the freezing temperature of a solution of brine made from a mixture of water, ice, and fucking shit. Um, the other limit established was his best estimate of the average human body temperature. Originally set at 90 degrees in 96. But how's that a, a, a limit? How is, what do you mean 90? How is that the limit? I don't know what you're fucking on about. A later, uh, oh, right. About 2.6 degrees less than the modern value due to the... Listen, it's just ridiculous. Look, look. Right, look, look at this, look. It is very straightforward. The scale was based on zero degrees for the freezing point of water and a hundred degrees for the boiling point uh, boiling point of water at normal uh, pressure. Nice and fucking simple. Zero's where it freezes, a hundred's where it boils. There you go. You can get your heater in that. It may snow once or twice, sometimes it doesn't snow at all, and every once in a while we actually get a snow apocalypse. so you just never know. Another thing with weather is the wind. It is always windy here, which I will say in the summer is a good thing because... Drying clothes, drying clothes, or a cool breeze? For drying your clothes, or a cool breeze? You wouldn't need it to dry the clothes because it's always fucking hot anyway. It's really hot and it's over 100 degrees. At least there is some wind. And one other thing is there is no humidity. The number one reason to not move to Abilene is... Is that a bad thing, actually? Walkability and transportation. The walkability and transportation issues. So we don't really have very many sidewalks in town. Some of the newer neighborhoods have sidewalks, but if you're trying to walk to the grocery store or anywhere else, you're walking on the street. We also don't have any bike paths. So if you're trying to take transportation, we have bus transportation. We have Uber, but it is very limited. We do have a taxi service. I've never seen a taxi, but I have seen the sign at the airport. So maybe there is a taxi here. I don't know. So there you go. My five reasons to not move to Abilene. And I've got to say, this was actually really hard for me to do because I love Abilene. But there are reasons why it may not be for you. Get off a fucking bus. Um, where is everything? Where's anything? Maybe, maybe that's no. That's just that's not the, the terminus. Maybe that's the garage for the buses or something. Right. I've arrived here and I'm hungry and I'd like to go and get something to eat.
miss a local church. I go to a local church. I say, hi, hello. I'm from Scotland, a deeply religious uh, Christian country. You'll know that many of the Christian values you have here in this country come from our ancient Calvinist um, ways. Can you give me shelter and food? Look at this. Get that fucking... Get, get a picture of that. Remember, you've got to... You've got to go out there. Really far back and then zoom in so that you don't get any kind of wide-angle distortion sort of thing and get it facing and go, I found this. What brings you to... Oh, dear. Long Acres has only got 2.4. There it is. Well, well, wait a minute. You mean this was fucking open at the time of Google reviews existing? Looks like it shot about 20 fucking year ago. Fuck Duck thinks it's up. The birthplace of banter. What be that then? No, the home of banter. Birthplace of banter. My stream. McNeil thinks of, thinks of the bits. Glad you like the random shite and the sidetracking. Draw Lewis, Mike, thinks of subs. And before Bezos screws you on the prime subs, dosh. It's only a matter of time. What was there? Scott, Scott Ernest, W. Aye, so I'll just say, I'm here on a photo project. I'm a photographer, uh, and I've come to take pictures of various Americana. You see, the magic of photography is, when I look at this, I see, and you probably see, an old run-down building. When you look through the camera, you pick out, you see it, and this is what I say to church, you see the details, you see through God's eyes, I'd say that, and they'd fall for it, they'd, they'd lap that up. You see it through God's eyes. You have a love for the paint, for the crumbling, for the brick, for that, the detail, the grass, the grass that grows, for the, the, the broken glass. This, for that, the angles, the simple existence of geometry. And the people and the memories. This once served this community. What happened in here? Who came in here? What did they buy? And who for? Did they ever come in and what they were looking for wasn't here? But they went out with something completely different and they didn't think they would come. You do that yourself. And when I think of that, I think up there. And I think of, there he is there. There he is. There the big man. There the big man. No, that's the sun. <laughs> right, and you've been to the sun, aye? You've been there, have you? Can't sleep even being on a fucking moon. Just trying to tell me what the sun is. 
Mr. Billy White, Stevja. Thanks to subs. Sina Girl on dating app says she's looking for someone with the same sense of humour as the Lemmy Show and I immediately dismissed because she didn't say Lemmy Show, this is what you've done to me, right. What you've what you've just missed out on there is a person who isn't he does they care about his pointless wee details getting that absolutely right? Can you imagine that? That you make a wee mistake or you get that. It's actually, it's actually this, it's not that. It's actually that, it's not this. That's not how you say it. There you go. That, that's perfect person. Perfect. They said the Lemmy show, that means you'll get away with when you say things like um, the, the Eurythmics. I would like shelter in your church. Is, what is that anyway? I keep thinking it's a church. It looks like a bank maybe. What are you? Um, it's, a ta it's a Taylor County Courthouse. What is that? Is that like a Texas flag or something or what is that? Far right dog whistle. Right, let's check out why this is at a business. Hope you're happy by the way. Uh gain it uh, on average. Gun shop, fucking hell. <laughs> I went in to buy one thing. Got pissed off with the guy who worked there. Made me want to buy a grenade. I don't like to leave bad reviews for independently owned businesses, but the picture of this site install speaks for itself that's ridiculous site install oh right site it's a site that's ridiculous so that's the front of the what is that front of the gun and then you look through what you kind of that's the wee bit in the middle That's ridiculous. I like the place and the people just like they are. Of course, I'm an older fellow that likes older firearms and lacks sensitivity. Oh. I've been a customer for several years. I've never had bad service, never felt overcharged, have felt undercharged. Work has always been top notch. Oh dear. I wouldn't like to get that fucking good review. A pure kind of, I don't care what anybody says. You're no one asshole. Use for gun blowing only does a very nice job for three times I've used them. Gunsmithing. I would not use the establishment. Ah, this this is yes, I've had the same problem here. One time I used them was to consent a win. Uh, that's Winchester. Uh, 1894, uh, 44, ah, 44.40. <laughs> Said it could not be done. Two months later, I walked in with the gun, had the man at the desk test the same 94 for function. It worked flawlessly. Even upside down. I can't tell if he's just a criticism. 30 to 33 to 40, 40, 44, 40. 
I only had to remake the cartridge guides and bore to chamber 4440. Right, sorry, what is it you're actually... Aye. It's just, uh, you said this couldn't be done, mate. You said that couldn't be done. Take a look at it. You said it couldn't be done. All I had to do was remake the cartridge guides and bore to chamber 4440. I wonder why it's shot. Old and outdated look. Have used this place for repairs three times, repairing your gun. How often you're using your fucking gun, you got to get it repaired. How often do you use anything, you've got to get it repaired. Each time the younger of the two men was rude, need some people skills. Well, you don't really need to be that polite when you've got a gun in your fucking pocket. Comes across as a know-it-all. Other than that, you can trust the work. Have not been in there recently, so maybe things are better regarding the look and social skills. So there you go, you get geeks and nerds everywhere. Smart arses. Comic book guy for The Simpsons, but a gun shop. Aye, same as other reviewers. But reviewers, very rude. Don't know how they're still open. Need to clean the place up and get some social skills. Well, it's fucked now, right? You happy? You owner? Oh, five years ago, one star. Six months ago, five stars. New owner, good quality gunsmith. Ten years ago, 740s. Low eye for the other things. They're all the fucking... How rude is this? When we were in... When we were in Paris, there was this place that looked... That I saw pictures of. We walked past it eventually. It was on the island that... Um, what's its name's on? Uh, Notre Dame. Sorry, Notre Dame. And... Apparently... It like, looks re really beautiful outside. A kind of tree thing or whatever it is with flowers. Perfect sort of place if you want to get a video or a picture. If you're one of these uh, sorts of people. But apparently the staff are rude as fuck. And I wanted to experience that. I wanted to experience what exactly are we talking about when we talk about a rude member of staff. What what does it what does that look like? I remember when we went to, when we went to Paris, we were staying at this place right next to the um, Milan Rouge and we went to we kept going to this pub at night just sort of sit about at night and uh, it's all kind of a bit busy the guy's a bit rushed and I went um, uh, can, can I have a Van Rouge and Diet Coke And he served us right, he served us right, that was it, served, that was it. And then I went away, right. And then, I don't know, another night, <laughs> another night, we are sitting in there, it's quite a wee, quite a wee place, and it sort of served us quick. And this this woman came in, and he's sort of like, I ch chanting, like, I think he, he knew her, right. Um, it was a wee bit, it wasn't, it wasn't busy, quite a night, like, almost like a cafe sort of pub thing, right. And, and I asked for whatever I asked for. I attempted some sort of French, basically Van Rouge instead of red wine. That's it. Um, I said bonjour when I walked up. I said uh, merci when I walked away. Um, but I asked for something, right? He went, right, right, and then got it, right? And he was sort of talking to her, right? And then when he gave me the thing, he came up with something in French. And merci beaucoup. And I think he said parley. Something, something, something kind of loud, right? And then he'd never really talked like we'd been in about three or four times and he'd never sort of came out with something. So he came out with something, sort of smiling in the presence of this other person. And I sort of glanced at her and I think she's kind of she sort of smiled at him or something like that, right? Um, and I went, right, because he went like that, right? And then sort of went away. And then I sat down and I thought, 
did I just get the piss taken out of me in French? I thought, he knows I fucking can't speak French. <laughs> he knows. And now there's two possible options. One is he's went like that. Thank you very much for attempting to speak French. Could have said that, right? Thinking I know what that is. Said it sarcastically, knowing that I don't know what it is. Or said, here you go, your French is terrible and so uh, is your country of England, Englishman. He could have said that. I don't know, but I was just like that. Sat down like, No, he may have. He may have. Mm. I felt like going back up and going, what you, what you say to me? What did you say to me? I should have done that. Go see now. Go. Get a tran Google Translate on conversation thing. Go. Do that, do that again. Go. Do that again. Go. Google Translate on. There you go. But, um, No. Uh, so I thought to myself, there wasn't, there wasn't, I mean, it was, it was nothing, everything was fine. I thought to myself, see, next time I go to uh, Paris, I'm going to say to myself, I'm not even going to try. I'm not even going to try. Speak English, but a French accent. Um, I've heard things like, uh, "Don't even bother trying to speak French. Don't you? Don't even attempt it. Uh, you'll maybe get the piss taken at you and things like that." Or they'll just like oh, they'll just start speaking English like that. Just don't, 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 don't like that. So I'm just gonna go well, go that. Just. No, they like the effort. You don't know every French person. You cannot speak for them. What you did there was bang out. No, um, I always say bonjour. That's what you're meant to say. Always say that. It's the most visited place in the world, isn't it? No, that's right. I looked it up a bit, isn't it? It's the most uh, popular, I don't know, city or something, tourist city or something. I know French people who buckle at folk attempting French. No, you don't. You don't know any French people. I thought I heard somebody speaking Spanish in, in, uh, here in Glasgow. I was walking up the road yesterday or the day before. I think the day before. I was walking past and I heard like two people speaking near York Hill, near Old Dumbarton Road. You won't know it. Near that Tantrum Donuts, if you know it. Near there. Kind of walking past. Uh, uh, speaking Spanish. I felt honoured. Honoured. And you see, if I heard French, I'd be, that would be like seeing one of the things like Glasgow has topped um, some top European destinations saying, well, that's because that's us, it's me, it's my city. Why, 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 why here? Fucking rain? Got nothing here. You would only come to Glasgow for the people.
you don't, don't just don't seem to get many Spanish people, um, Spanish in, in, in Glasgow, in Edinburgh. You go to Edinburgh, big touristy sort of place. Glasgow, I've never, been, I've never, been, never went like that. Like, like you know, London, you hear everything, you hear everybody fit everywhere, but um, it's like a kind of center of the world sort of place, but in um. Uh, Glasgow, like you might get later on in the year some people going by wearing cagoules, um, just got off a fucking hop on, hop, hop off a uh, tourist day bus, and they're all speaking, like, say, French or uh, Spanish or Italian. I don't mean them, I mean a couple of people who are actually living here, chatting with each other, as you're walking past, you're just having a wee, a wee chat like that, outside a shop, where they're going to get milk. You never hear French, German, Italian, Spanish. You hear nothing. You, know, you, never, you never hear them. Spanish, French, German, Italian. You'd think you'd hear Italian a bit more. But no. There's neck on here. For there, I mean. Go Frappuccino. Whatever, whatever is here, they've got there. But better is probably the reason why. Like, why come here when you could go to England? Why come here when you could go to London? Why come here when you could no come at all? Imagine moving for fucking... Um, I've said this before, but imagine moving for, I don't know, Barcelona, let's say, to Glasgow. Why would you do that? Why not? Why would you? It's only if... If you've got some sort of really special interest in Glasgow. Why do anything? Because you go like that, you, you look at a place, you go, well, oh, there's something I like about that place. Glasgow's not any cunt's fucking radar, really. How many people are going like that? You know a place I want to go? Glasgow. Glasgow. If you're going to go to Scotland, you'll probably go to... Edinburgh or something like that. The birthplace of Banter. It's my favourite place. Anyway, let's go back to this. This is the worst run business I've ever dealt with. Dude, pick up your phone. <coughs> That's fucked. Um, right, enough of the gun shop. I'm starving here in um, Abilene. I need something to eat. Right, you think it's a sub? Actions speak louder than words. Bam. Thank you very much. The birthplace of banter. I hope I've not missed anybody with the subs and the rest of it. Catfish Corner, what? Jay Barbecue Shack. Oh, Catfish Corner. 4.1. Good, but not perfect. Oh, I knew it. Oh, you can't go wrong with that. Jay's Barbecue Shack, 4.9. Take me down there. Jesus Christ. Look at this. Do you know what these are like? This is like if you're trying to make up a wee town and you're having a go at game development and you're making something up in Unity or fucking Unreal and you're like, right, I'm just going to use some pre-made assets. Oh, right. Concrete, concrete, um, tree, tree, motor, building, and building. Um, what do you think? It looks no bad, but there's no... It's a wee bit bare. But what's that? Oh, I just dragged, I just wee drag and drop asset that I got for the, the library. What is it? Well, it, it was like a well thing and I sort of moved it about a wee bit just to make it look like it's a kind of something else. Oh, 
What is that? Is that something that used to be something now it's fucked? Or is it actually nice? Here. July 2019. See more dates. Oh. 2007. Oh. Wait. That's still there. We've got 2013. There it was in its heyday, everybody. So 2007. Nothing there. Nothing. And then they thought, this is six years later. So at some point in the, in the following six years, they went, let's build one of these. What is it? Well, it might come in useful. For what? For something. You'll be able to maybe... And if you want a picture of that, and you're wondering, where, where's the best place to stone? You could stone in that. Or a bath. You could um, fill that with water, fill that with water. Then you sit in that. And then put your legs around and then sort of somehow get your knees around that to paddle in that, maybe. No. Could you be used to feed horses? I public toilet. The fuck is that? Oh dear. What's happened to it? Did it just get kicked it? Has it been has somebody run into it? Has it been vandalized? Maybe two contractors were asked to pitch for it, asked to um, submit a that tender the what is it submit a what do you call it? Did you submit a tender or what do you call it? It's been put out to tender. And then the guy who didn't get the job came by one night and wrecked it. And then probably stood by the next day going, I look at that, see I, to see, I told you, see, it's just, it's just, uh, it's just fell ill, see. That's what happens when you, you get what you pay for. Fucking see this, man. Let me see this. 4.9. Everybody fucking loves it. Oh, I fucking hate their pickles. Hate them. Good 40s, please. This is. Honest to goodness, don't earth grub. Don't want web results. Where's the reviews? All right, right. This place is all. This is this is. You don't want it too good. You don't want a million. Good, right. All oh, right. So you order for there and you sit down. What's that? It's like fucking Madeira cake. You know, it's all right. It must be in the taste. I don't know who would have a bad experience here. Oh, I start, I start knocked off for uh, being dead busy. Ah, oh, see, we've got suits. Any particular reason why you're not putting your... 
legs under. No, enough room. Ah, he's spreading it. Right, is that it? He's spreading it. There we go. You can see his leg coming at an angle there. He's spreading out, then he kind of did that. If he would have to move up that whole bit. If he was to move in, if he was to put his leg in and then move up a bit, his knee would be almost touching that. But he all, always, he also wants to spread out. So if you take the distance between that knee and that knee and try and get this knee out that other side, that would well, that'd be going right into that. Oh, the fucking boots! I he cowboy boots with a suit, or whatever you call them. United States of America. Let me just check to see any bad reviews here. First of all, I will hide it in okay, case some dickhead from here has decided that I'm going to put in a bad review and he will see, let me see me. The worst review, it goes as low, only as low as two. The best turkey I have had in Abilene. Right, so where did it all go wrong then? The ribs are cold, but I know they would have been delicious if they had been at the correct temperature. The cashier was a little bit rude, but everything else was great. Um, Alejandro. Two out of five for that? Maybe, could I maybe, maybe get you up to three? Pig candy. Mentioned in six reviews. The fuck is pig candy? Hold on, um, we're gonna just, I wanna see what else. Come back to your reviews. Um, pig candy. I'd recommend the pig candy, but still prefer the shed over Jay's. Pig candy. What's this place called again? Um, Jay's Barbecue Shack. Got a website? Oh no. Menu? Pig candy. Quarter pound of Kansas City style bacon burnt ends. Oh, that sounds nice, that. Oh, that sounds nice. Right, careful. Careful when searching for pig candy. Oh, we're alright, we're alright. Pig candy is a dessert made by, uh, what? Thick strips of smoked bacon and pecans, coating them in caramel or other type of sugar, notably brown sugar. How is it you say that, cayenne? Is that something else? Pepper added and dipped in chocolate. Featured in Martha Stewart Living. I know about Martha Stewart. I know, um What was that archive again? What was that supermarket archive? With our in-store advisor, Martha Stewart. Mm. 
Was it no target? It was something else. Fuck Martha Stewart. Aye, she did something, didn't she? Uh, Kmart Archive. That lovely tape hiss. She's Scottish. Nod uh, disown until I know what you're on about. Playing? Right, there we go, right. Go forward. Hey, okay, stuff. I need to listen to this, man. Every time I listen to it, uh, I keep meaning to listen to it, but it's so relaxing. In case you don't know, even though I play this a bit every fucking month in the stream, somebody taking all the tapes used in Kmart supermarkets, whatever the fuck they are, and uh, stuck them online. Oh yeah, Office Hours, I've I, I watched uh, about Office Hours, and then heard that on it. I was like, that's for that fucking Kmart thing. Yeah, hold on. Right. Get on with it. Get on with it. Play. Right, here we go. Right, good, 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 good. Here we go. Kmart shoppers, stop by the men's department where a wide assortment of sweaters and shaker knits, cottons and jacquards are available in the newest colors and styles. Our fleece tops and pants for men's and boys are made in the USA and are available in a rainbow of colors at a low Kmart price. Whether you're restoring a home or throwing a party, the key to success is organization. Fortunately, Rubbermaid makes all the things you, you need for your hey, home in order. You hey, in the kitchen, you hey, you'll hey, find everything you from hey, organizers to sinkware to serve and savers. Not to mention a Rubbermaid waste paper basket with a dual action lid. Or for the bigger cleanups, get a Roughneck 32-gallon refuge container. We have whatever you need to keep everything in its place. And it all comes complete with a recommendation from Martha Stewart, our entertainment and lifestyle consultant. Rubbermaid, just another one of the great names that's at home with Martha Stewart. I need to get, I need to get my, I need to get that on the go. Just somebody comes to me and goes, could you put your name to this? Could you say that you're our advisor? Or something, so we can play it in the thingy. Aye. Right. Do you want it to... 100,000? 100,000. 100,000. I'll say whatever you fucking want. King Quaps, Oregano thinks the subs. Thank you very much. Google thinks the sub. Heart rate below fucking 40. I know, it's no, um... It doesn't seem to go that low anywhere. I mean, I don't check that often. Maybe I should put the heart rate thing on just, just to see. Griddler, Dazza, Martin, Tom, Falksy, Pigsy thinks it's up. Sawdusty, RPG Andy, Joe, Blimey, Waskiferian, Righty thinks it's subs. What are the five worst things about living in Glasgow? Um cold, wet and windy for fucking ages for about six months of the year 
Um, I don't know, maybe not a million things today. Uh, unless you like drinking, clubbing, and doing things, but I speak as a 49 year old. Um, you get stabbings anywhere? Um, a few other wee things I don't want to go into because I, I don't want to get all heavy and political. And, um, and some other things I don't want to go into. There you go. Stabbing is wrong in my opinion, says Dusty. You're entitled to your opinion, but I'd rather you don't express it here. I don't want to get all heavy. Right, we've all got different opinions here. I don't want people starting to fall out. Right. Now, this is the person who gave two stars for a place that's got the best fucking, what was it again? Turkey or whatever it was. And think about Bob. This is good, it's just at this. That was good, but it's just at that. This is a nice sweet triangle. Here. Where's the Bermuda Triangle? Is it that is it like that there? Something like that. The Bermuda. I remember I remember hearing about that when I was we Arthur C. Clarke's something mysteries or something. The Bermuda Triangle. What is it? It's like a kind of like in the, between this place, that place and Bermuda. You call that the Bermuda Triangle. Planes fly into it and they don't come out. And nobody knows. Did they just crash then? No. Fucking get in, man. Thank you. You better be cut me out of this picture. And all three out of five. My wife and I tried this place on a Sunday afternoon. Is this a bar that happens to sell food? But its speciality is drinks, or is this a restaurant with an immense bar? If the form is true, it makes sense. Uh, problem in the kitchen, right? right. Sorry to hear that. Five stars. Oh, that's what I liked it. Look at this. I better go, everybody. I don't know the story behind this restaurant. I heard an inspiring one, but I cannot confirm its veracity. I like your fucking style. You heard something, but you're not just going to be part one of these people that go, I'm just going to propagate this shit. Is it true? Is it false? I don't know. I cannot confirm its veracity. So that's where the conversation ends. Could be true. Maybe it is. But it's not getting mentioned here. Can, could it confirm its veracity? I like to double check. Triple check. Alejandro is Kera, maybe. Run for what would that be in America? Run for um Senator. What's a word that's like honesty? That would go with Alejandro. Honest. Well, get honest Abe. Honest Abe. Honest Alejandro. Well, we don't know if that's true. Could be true. I'm not saying it is, not it? Listen, I need to go, but I'll, 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 end, I'll end with this one. Look. One out of fucking five. A friend from Merida... Merida, where's that again? Mexico, Colombia. I've heard Merida before. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. El Toro, uh, El Toro for seafood. What do you think about the restaurant? Let's say I'm no longer friends with the guy who recommended this place. The old saying states, 
you always get what you pay for. However, we paid her in sixty-five dollars for two soups, a fish fillet, and oh, oh sorry, fire, fire. Do you say fire or even fillet? Or do you say fillet? See that sort of soft stuff you get in a Mars bar? Do you call it nugget or nougat? I I heard that in an advert. With something nougat. Like, fuck off. Nugget. But that's how you, that's how you say it. But that's how you, that's how it's, I, if I was to say that, if I was to say anything other than nugget, I'd get my cunt kicked in, run here. Hi, I'm looking for a, a feely, a fish. That would get your, that would get your heat, uh, that'd get your brain kicked out. Uh, Feely. Excuse me, do you sell do you sell a feely a fish? Feely. Feely. I could just imagine, you know, back then, you know, chopping everybody's head heads off with a guillotine. A what? You know, it's, when somebody tries to break off and go, I'm saying it the way you're actually meant to say it, breaking breaking the ranks. I'm saying it properly. That's how you actually say it. Feel, feel a chorizo. It's really hard for me to stop saying chorizo, even though it's never meant to be chorizo. It's like saying a pizza. I just say chorizo and hope that I get away with just that, even. So I might be true. Tom Cruise, uh, fast into five points. Davy, El Corbini thinks it's up some bits. You're very welcome. Thank you very much. Watch Braveheart. Been a good mood. Remember uh, lost my clan. If you've been offered a partner, which part would you like to play in Braveheart? Um, uh, the one that uh, what's his name? The guy that doubts that's uh, what's it? Peter Mullins one, that one. Longshanks would be good. Oh, I'd love to be the guy who goes like that. I am skilled in the arts of war and military tactics, sire. I'd love to be that cunt. This is the worst seafood soup I've had in my life. How is that even possible? Being so close to the sea. Well said. I do not know. Yes. The fault is mine, because I should have waited to see what the local people were getting, which was fried fish. Unfortunately, I cannot recommend this place. I do not think I will give it a second chance. There are other options on the Malacon. I would try those next time. The Malacon. Where is this? Right, I need to go. Oh, very nice. Hold on. So here. Fucking yes. Hold on. Get me there. Oh, wait a minute. Right, hold on. Right, I'll look at it on all time. Well, we bought the place. Um, it was advertised as finished. Um, saw pictures as a pool, um, roads, buses, public transport. When we got there, um, this is what we're faced with. It was faced with part building site, part dumping ground. 
Um, it's just not what we we paid for, not what we expected. Um, we're given excuses that it would be finished soon. Um, it never was. Like you could tell just by walking around, you could see that this was everywhere. Um, the place we did see was actually a picture from just a few buildings up the road. Um, that wasn't what we were being sold. We were sold basically a piece of uh, land with a sign saying, uh, prohibit uh, do not, not this land, not used, tirar as in terrain, and prohib that's prohibited. And Bazura means bastard. Trash, there it is. Basura. That's so, so I'm going to start saying about things and I'm going to start saying that in the Dead by Daylight. <laughs> I'm going to start saying that in Dead by Daylight chat after a game. Basura. I'm going to type that. They won't know. They won't know unless they speak Spanish. It'll be my own wee joke. They'll never know. Quit the game, please. Elcor, thanks for the thanks for the bits. Cor, cor, cor. Oh, mate, thanks for the last show. It's good for laugh. Thank you very much. Tom Cruise, T Fox. Thanks for subs. Ave or oh, Ave. You've not heard for Ivy or Harvey. Everybody, it's an old joke here. The fact that Ivy and Harvey sound the same. In that accent. Ave. Ave. I've just gone to introduce you to... You can, you're in the right place for the wedding. I'll introduce you to everyone. What are your names? Um, Harvey and Ivy. All right. We've got Ave and Ave. Everybody, thank you very much. We'll leave it on that one, right? Everybody, very good. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. We'll leave it on that one. Everybody, thanks for the subs, the subs, the bits and the tips. Mods, thank you for the modding. And everybody, thank you very much for watching. Um, I'll see you tomorrow. What I'll be playing, I don't know. Maybe Dark Souls. Maybe no. Maybe... Something completely different, some sort of indie game, maybe a wee short one, a wee indie game or something like that. I'll ask on Twitter, I'll ask people, I'll say any ideas for any indie games and then fucking 90% will be like, uh, what remains of Edith Finch, Firewatch, I played that, alright, if you played Firewatch though, that's the one I was talking about that I played, alright. Give, get, maybe get another go if you, if you didn't like it. Maybe, you know, if you, if you binned it early, I didn't bin it, I liked it and I completed it. Maybe give it another go then, because you did that with Dark Souls 3. Anything else? Thanks for watching everybody and I'll fucking see you tomorrow at 9.30am at 1.30pm GMT stroke UTC. See you there or be square.